Yeah. I don't know what that's like. Yeah, I'm considering doing some Tiger Bomb, but I'm wearing like a whitish shirt, so uh, I don't want to stain it yellow. Mm, fair, fair. That'll do the trick, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We also have one of those like little massagers. Do you have dark opening in another window right now? Uh, shit, no, I don't. I don't think ooh, I don't think my computer can handle having a uh, browser tab open. Brian Cage versus Brian Pillman Jr. Ooh. for the FTW title. Nice. We're doing a title match on Dark. Well, I mean, it I, is the FTW title. I know. Yeah. Uh, welcome everybody to the stream. We're continuing on with this. After the tragedy of last time, I took some time and went through and got back to where I was at, so... <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, but yes, I'm back. I got 17, and I figured out what the fortunes were about. The fortune actually only changes the item you get before you see Bellamy, and then there's, like, one other scroll that changes every time you walk in the room, and it can either be the treasure that you need the key that was, like, up, uh, up above these doors, or, um you can fight him and just get through. So, I just need to go find the paratroopers. Damn, that FTW title looks really good on Cage. Mmm, I'll, I'll bet. It's got it on his hips. I gotta, I really gotta catch up on Dark. I'm so far behind. Um... Oh. So, I had a pretty pretty alright day, updated my website, got some work done, felt good, felt really, really good. I still need to make a logo, that was one of the big things my uh, voice coach said to do. But otherwise, the once I have that, that should be everything. So anybody yeah. who's curious, go to idkvoice.com, as written down below, and you can see my, uh, you can see my website. The I... I've been playing a game that I could have sworn had Carlos Salas Rocky as a voice actor on. Hmm. What game? Uh, well, it wasn't him. Well, so what, that what's was the game though? It's uh, the Inner World. The Inner. I vaguely remember that one. When did that come uh, out? It's a German game from 2013. So. I think there, I think I've every heard about possibility it. you've never seen it. Um, mm, I don't know. I, I see a lot of, like, uh, obscure indie games through my different email newsletters. But, um, I looked up the guy, because it sounds just like Carlos Alas Rocky's Rocco with a British accent. Okay. And I, like, looked it up, and it's some German dude who was born in England. Hmm. So he's a native English speaker. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I guess. And his voice acting site is like the only thing about him you can find. Hmm. And he's kind of like, it's a decent website. Yeah. For what it's worth. Uh, th that's the thing is like websites are all over the place. The big things with like voiceover is that you, um, a lot of voice actors will set themselves up, uh, in a way that will impress other voice actors and not actually impress clients because in reality clients just want to yeah. they want to know your name they want to know what you've done like coaching wise or credits wise and then they want to hear a demo of what you sound like um uh, and that's you're much... actually going for jumps i would not be oh i made oh it my God. one one shot it. this is like the least entertaining part of the game yeah i mean oh. i i made and it first try so later so... It's so easy to fall off. Hmm. Bees! Wait, oh, it sucks. Um. Like, I get what they were going for, but it don't work. You know, I had an epiphany while I was playing this, um, while I was playing this the last time, you know, getting back to where I was at. 
uh -huh. I was just, I was sitting, I had it on my MacBook playing while Coco played Okami HD on the TV, and we were just relaxing, playing our different games, and I was just going through the same spot, and I was like, man, I'm having a fucking amazing time. I really love this game. Just genuinely, yeah. like, going through that, it's like, this game's great. Brian Cage wins in a squash against Brian Pillman Jr. Of fucking course he does. They're not gonna, yeah, there's no way they're having a serious match. Well, the uh, problem is Brian Pillman Jr. Uh, is under contract with MLW. Oh. So should he? So, wow. They're not gonna let him get, like, over on their show if they right. can't con sign him to a contract. Though I bet this is his next stop when that MLW contract is up. Hmm. Damn, he's good at selling, just twitching on the ground. Hell yeah. Listen, like he's like knocked out, just twitching. Like a good sell can make or break a match. If you yeah. if you sell the right move at the right moment, just right, it just it elevates it to like holy shit, this feels so raw and real. You looking forward to the just announced match uh, today? Oh, I didn't hear about it. What we got? Uh, the Nightmare Sisters versus TBA. Oh. Nightmare Sisters. Um, Brandy and Allie. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that story. I'll be honest. I, I'm slow enough on the uptake that it took me a second to remember TBA isn't the name of a tag team. I mean, they do have a team called FTR. I know, there's so many acronyms, I'm like, huh, SCU, TBA, did I forget them? <laughs> to be announced. Um, um, so I don't I, know how, like, I'm, I don't really, I'm not a fan of Yoko Ono style storylines. What do you mean? Oh, like the steal, like stealing somebody away from another team kind of thing? Well, no, like, that's clearly what they're going for. They're going to try and, like, break, like, she's trying to break up, um, uh, the Nightmare family. Mm. And it's clearly going to lead to an implosion, where, and they're eventually clearly going to face Butcher and Blade. And I don't like those storylines like yeah it's a little too i don't know it, it feels like the most basic wrestling storytelling like the most basic idea of conflict like if you saw them parodying wrestling on a cartoon or in a movie or something it feels like the kind of story they'd have it's just not like i've seen Yeah, plenty of this storyline before, and it's just yeah. Like, I, it would actually be great if they swerved us, and she actually does make him a better wrestler, mm -hmm. and actually, like, in kayfabe, does like him. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, let me ask you a quick question. Uh, because you know DC, and I know you've you've said this before, but um, there's a character, and don't don't say the name because I want I'm basically testing to make sure I know how to pronounce it. But he's a little fourth dimensional guy, Mr. Mixitzelplex, right? No. Damn it! How do you say the it? The Superman animated series had Gilbert Godfrey tell you how to say his name correctly. Oh, that's wonderful. So how is it? Mixia Spitalik. Mixia Spitalik. Damn. Mix, like mix, yes, spit, lick. Mixia Spitalik. It sounds very, like, uh, Slavic. So he, he demonstrated by turning into a blender, nodding, spitting in Superman's face, and then licking him. Mixia mm. Spitalik. So, Mixia Spitalik. That's a good mnemonic device. Yeah, and that is how I will accept the canon pronunciation, period. I mean, it was a canon show, so I figure, like, DC had to sign off on it. Yeah. Um, so, 
Here's a story. Mm hmm. Sir Desmond Swain, MP, which means British Parliament, I believe. Potentially yes. It's, Canadian, it's like, I, it's, that's like, uh, like, gov governor level. Like, I governor. Was like so they, they, or senator. Well, they, they're, they're specifically for an area, and they, they, yeah. It, there's not really a one-to-one -one thing, but it's kind of a combination of the governor who actually governs the state and one of the federal representatives from that state. I'm pretty sure I might be wrong on that. I, the British Parliament is confusing. Because I would presume MP is short for Minister of Parliament. Mm. That could anyway, make sense. Sir Desmond Swain, I mean the sir implies British as well, Okay. Remains defiant after blackface picture emerges. Not again. Sir Desmond Swain's use of blackface was revealed in a blog post on his own website in which he refused to apologize. He said that although he would not do it again, that was only because the makeup took so long to clean off. Although that line was later deleted. It said, the reason I wouldn't do it again is because you have to go to some trouble to get it off. It's not a non-trivial issue or exercise. I, yikes. Yikes to all of that. My God. Also, the use of a double negative means it's a trivial exercise, which means it's pretty easy to get it off. I mean, ugh. yeah, it's... I know that's the least stupid aspect of his behavior, but as an editor... Oh no. Oh no, he set, he set off the piranha plant. No! Someone set us up the, the bomb! Do I gotta fight this piranha plant? Oh, that piranha plant's got some meaty DSLs. Yeah, they're a little more thin. Oh yeah, you gotta fight him. Okay. And he is, he is a big boy. You think you're done, but no. Ah, doing the, the, the Hydra situation. Yeah. That's not too bad. I got, it Shower time. I got one of them in two turns, so two of them I should be able to get in... I think they get stronger. May. May. I mean, I can get the... bigger. Hmm. Like, when you played Paper Mario and fought the one on Lava Lava Island? Oh, that kind of situation? It reminded me a lot of this. But this one was harder, in my opinion. So, did you play this back in the day, or did you play this after Oh, yeah. That? Okay. Oh, no, I had this in cartridge format. Nice. Um, I, think... I remember being sick from school one day and just playing the entire game in one day and finishing it. it I think Cory has it on cartridge still? I'd have to look through his collection, but he does still have some of those classic games. Which I'm jealous of, but also I feel that most of the ports um, are a little better technologically. They're just, like, easier to deal with. Fi if even finding a TV that can take RGB cables is mm. pretty difficult nowadays. You can get adapters. Um, I know. Like, there are, yeah. There are cords made for the Super NES to hook up to HDMI. There are... Wait. Well, in fact... I think our Super NES didn't even use that, it used coax. So oh, you probably damn. can still plug it into uh, HDMI TV, no problem. Really? Because almost every HDMI TV has a coax input. Hmm. I, I haven't used one, to be honest. Ah, yeah, here's a big boy. Big the boy. The biggest in the problem you might have would be if it's got the block coax thing and you can't really fit it. Like, if your coax input is, like, in a small niche, you might have trouble plugging it in there. Yeah, but... especially because we got the uh, we got the cable on. Um... Oh, we have the TV on a uh, on a wall mounted, so we can get back there to put the HDMI's in because they're um, they go in side mount. Yeah, they they're in line with the TV rather than perpendicular. It, it just. Uh, it depends on the way it's shaped at the end of the cord. Yeah. Um. Ah, oh, damn it, Scrodust. Scrodust. That's what, uh... 
<laughs> I'm not going there. Oh boy. Oh, Iggy. <sighs> so there's some more news today. Oh no. Um. Tony Khan discussed the suspensions of uh, Havoc and Guevara, mm -hmm. saying that he suspended them both for different, you know, problems. Yeah. Uh, people were shocked what Sammy had said. They didn't know about it until, and if anybody did, nobody brought it forward. Um, so he talked about how very, very important it was to him that that sort of thing be addressed. Well. If he, you know, is saying that, then they must know, you know, more than we do about other names that were thrown out, so. Yeah, I, I, that's what I've been saying from the beginning, is I do trust them to, like, do their due diligence. They clearly have been. Um, so if there's something that hasn't come to light to them yet, it may in the future. I feel more than anything it's that they, because it didn't get as much, um spread as some of the other things that came out uh that particular person is if they did do something uh AEW will find out about it like i yeah. i feel like now they're definitely probably going through and trying to find any any kind of accusations that will be made so that they can get ahead of it yeah um more uh there's Three more stories I have in the world of wrestling. Hmm. WWE Raw posted its lowest ratings ever. Yeah, you sent me that. Week. That's that's shocking. Uh, 1.56 million viewers. This it was is gonna, the lowest. It was gonna happen eventually. It was definitely gonna happen eventually, cause like they've they've been trending downwards so it was only a matter of time before they hit that but god damn this should really be a kick in the pants to uh to to uh the whole company honestly yeah but it's not gonna be because they don't want to they don't want to admit their failures yeah Fuck, I'm gonna save that the... sucks everybody keeps getting put to sleep must save the best story for last and just skip to an obvious story. Sure. Um, uh, Conrad Thompson, Tony Khan, and Eric Bischoff did a podcast today. Really? Yeah, it's on the AEW YouTube channel. And Bischoff just left the executive director of SmackDown uh, job last year. Mm -hmm. Um, and he revealed that he and other folk backstage would sit around and watch AEW Dynamite. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, it was like, uh, I sat down and watched both shows side by side. I was working with WWE at the time, and I was watching it in a writer's conference room with a bunch of other writers. One of the things I noticed is that AEW is handling the production much better, what with... Steve Carino running wild and suplexing everybody. Mm -hmm. um, when I watched the show during the Carino rampage, the way they're shooting the show, it's tighter. They embrace the venue instead of camouflaging it. Somebody asked, what do you think? I told him I thought AEW feels more like live TV and feels gritty enough that it convinces me it's live. It feels gritty enough to feel like it's live. So... I got yeah. the seed. And then, uh... The biggest story, Kenny Omega, and this is not much of a story, like it's just what Kenny Omega wants from something, and you know, that might be what it is in the end, it might be completely different, yeah. but Kenny Omega reveals what he wants in an AEW video game. Ooh. Ooh, um, I hope it's actually decent, because man... The, the, they've had kind of stinkers with a lot of the WWE games. Uh, especially the 2K titles. Yeah, um, Kenny's already been in a video game too. He was DLC, one of the DLC fighters in that, um, oh, that one that the Grumps played that looked like an old, like, SNES one. Uh, Fire Pro. 
Yeah, that, that one, there's DLC that has a bunch of New Japan wrestlers, including Kenny. Well, unofficially. What do you mean? Like, from what I saw, and I haven't played it, so take my word with a grain of salt. Uh, there's a lot of, like, a lot of the characters in that game were based off of existing wrestlers. Mm. Very, very obviously so. Well, the, that's the thing, have... though, is that uh, it, with the Kenny one, it's like it is like it has the New Japan logo. It says New Japan. It has their actual like it specifically says Kenny Omega. Um, I don't know, but I do know that the Bullet Club under his time did uh, make an appearance in something um, a fighting game. I want to say. Tekken? Ooh. What's the one with the the leopard-headed character named King? That's Tekken. Yeah. I believe the Bullet uh, Club... Why can't, I get, why can't I get on the second vine? I'm doing it wrong. Let me, let, me, bullet. let me read the note again. How to climb the vines. The bottom left to the top right. When you jump, you'll disengage yourself. Okay. I understand that. There um, we go. Oh, it's just a much further jump than it looks. Yeah, you could buy a Bullet Club Tekken shirt. Nice. And Tekken 7 introduces alternate Bullet Club costumes and NJPW partnership. Mm. So some of the characters, I guess, oh had God. Tekken gear. I am having so much trouble getting on to these vines. This is way more annoying than the Koopa Troopas was. Yeah, yeah, this one sucks. I do recommend once you get to the top of one, quick saving so you can get to the next one. Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring I'm going to do that, which I, I changed quick save to the top D-pad button, because that's the one I'm least likely to put my thumb anywhere near. Just Boy. for safety. I'd really like this fat Koopa Troopa. He's so chonky. Oh man. Um, so, yes. What Kenny would like to see from game. And he says, be not saying anything playable is coming soon. And at least expect something to show people. And he also says that what he's about to talk about is not necessarily what will be in the game. So it's just, just what he would like to see it. Right. For me, I believe there needs to be a sense of being in the ring. That you're controlling your favorite wrestler or controlling your creative character. It's not so much a simulation where the movements are slow. I want to recapture the sort of fun factor that we used to have back in the day, whether it be WWF WrestleFest, WrestleFest No Mercy, WrestleMania 2000, Virtual Pro Wrestling 1 or 2. I want a very simplified system that allows for pickup and playability. However, I want the moves and structure... Oh, damn it. What did, uh, what did I do? Ah, yeah, okay. I want the moves and structure of the game to be so crisp and the potential for it to be so deep to the point where you can have a match that actually resembles something of a pro wrestling match where the moves look the way they should, the characters move the way they should, but at the end of the day, a game needs to be fun. I want a game where I can take my favorite character and do all of his moves and decimate my opponents, but I want to be able to call over a friend that never games and with a very simple <laughs> explanation, I want him to be able to pick up a controller and be able to feel like he's in control of his movements and his destiny as well. I don't want people to take the literal words from this to assume that, that uh, to assume this is what the game will be like. But one thing I appreciate in a fighting game like Street Fighter, it's got a very difficult entry barrier to play at a top level. It's almost impossible. You can't be a dude off the street and do it. It takes a lot of practice time and a lot of grinding. You have to be like a math magician on the spot to calculate frames and advantages and all that. When yeah. people assume control of their favorite wrestler or their latest creation, I want them to feel like it's not difficult to do the moves they want to do. I want them to feel like they can perform the way they want to perform. Yeah, well, that's the thing, too, is, like, fighting games at a, uh, 
at a pro level are like are basically like high speed chess. Like it is more strategy than anything. By my understanding, I mean, I personally am not good enough at fighting games to really be at the level, but it sounds like he wants to make basically like the Tony Hawk pro skater of wrestling games, one that you can have fun with just skating around, but then if you want to take it serious, like there's a ton of cool shit you can do. Yeah. I, um. I think something that would help and would definitely differentiate it from other uh, wrestling games is they're always from a crowd perspective. Like, you're always basically just watching it from the hard cam or whatever. But I'd love to see something more third person. So, like, over the shoulder kind of thing. So that you're still seeing the wrestler the whole time, but it's, like, more more honestly, like, a, an advanced punch-out, kind of? With, like, a lot more depth to it. But, like, that that kind of a, 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 a layout. Mm, I don't know about that. You don't know about that? How? What would you no. like to see? Uh, did you ever play the SmackDown vs. Raw 2000 whatever games? No, I I have not played a wrestling game since the N64, to be honest. Ooh, um, I want a story mode, like first and foremost. Ooh, definitely. Um, that more than anything. Which they've shown in, like um, they've shown in, like, the most recent Madden game, like, that has a story mode. Which is kind of like, yeah, but it's kind of like Telltale, combined with, like, sometimes... To me, that doesn't match. matter. Like, in football, I don't give a shit about story mode, because it's a football game. There's no fucking story involved in a fucking football game. There's as much story as in a wrestling match. No, there's not. There is. It's not the same thing. Close. It's people. No, there's not. You don't have, like... When was the last time you saw two football players getting mad at each other because one slept with the other's girlfriend in the middle of a football game? Maybe not in the, the middle of the football fo game. I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but that's the thing is wrestling is the kind of stories that other sports play ramped up to uh, a much no. more entertaining degree. So, yeah, it's much drier, but it's, like, it's the same core Why kind of Why did you jump stories. off the green vine when you had it? I I wanted to get that frog coin. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm not going to get it. Yeah. It's really not worth it. It's not. I, I went back. Fucking. Nah. You can you can mine frog coins over at that, like, waterfall. Really? Yeah, you can just keep doing the waterfall over and over and keep getting them there. Okay, I might do that at some point if uh if I have enough time, which I think I will. Honestly, I'm making pretty good time. Um, Damn it, you can't turn like in modern games. I want to get the coin. Yeah, whatever. I have plenty of coins. I maxed them out. Um, to me, a decent story mode is important. And I would just like a, like a decent, uh, similar to SmackDown vs. Raw. Hmm. Like, those were some great wrestling games. They could be a little faster if that's what you're worried about. Sure. Why did you... Sorry, I forgot. It's been a minute since I played it, so I forgot whether it was the, the papau or the clown face that you jump on. Huh, isn't that weird how those cloud people look like frogs? Isn't that weird? Well, okay, I get it. He was raised by frogs. That's the whole deal, but... Uh-huh. Listen... So weird that a, a, a cloud city full of frogs. Right? It's so crazy. Um, I might take a break in a minute because I'm I'm simmering some pasta sauce out in the kitchen while we're streaming. Gotta keep gotta keep checking on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna spell two words and you tell me if they're pronounced differently. Uh huh. P E N and P I N. Uh, depends on your accent. There's actually a very common thing in a lot of southern accents, which is called the pen pin pen merger, where you say that kind of uh, I and E as the same sound. It's pin and pen. Yeah, it's that like, hand me some that accents. Pen. It'd be hand pen. me that pen. Oh no, I stuck myself with a pin. What's your pin? Oh no, I stuck myself with a pin. Hand me that no. pin. 
That's not a southern accent. <laughs> That's like a Texas accent. No. Hmm. No. Hmm. Like... No. I'm telling you, it is a real thing that happens in accents. I mean, yeah, it's a real thing that happens in accents, but what you just did was not a southern accent. Whatever you say. You've been from one particular part of the south. It, it ranges. Uh, I've been all over the south, and yeah, it ranges. It, and none of what you did was any southern accent. <laughs> southern accent, like, I've been in the middle of South Carolina where the accents were so thick that the only word I could make out was Cousin's House, and it still didn't sound anything like what you just did. Mm. What you just did was the Hollywood version of a southern accent where a guy from New York who's never set foot in the South thinks well, yeah, he knows what a that's... southern accent sounds like because he watched Beverly Hillbillies one time and can do that accent. Well, yeah, that's the kind of accent that I will get cast doing. I'm not going to get cast because I did uh, an accurate thing, because that that's a big thing in acting, is that you're not doing the actual accurate thing. You're doing the thing that people expect from that. Like, uh, the closest I can suggest to hearing somebody do an actual southern accent is whenever Aaron Hansen talks under his breath. He gets really close. Um, really? Yeah, because you'll hear him like, Damn, I don't know. Like, when he's doing that, he'll get really close to doing a southern accent, but not quite. Because mm. a southern accent is more like this right here. You talk to somebody with a southern accent, you gotta talk a little quickly. You gotta talk with a little more nasal in your voice. And the word grace, you're going out to mow the grace. And when you go, you put him in a long bag. It's borderline Irish, but not quite. Like, pronunciations are Irish, but without an Irish accent. And if you go deep into the South, that's where you get that Cousin's House accent that I like to call it. It's like, and I swear to God, I stopped in South Carolina at a gas station south of Orangeburg, and everyone in line ahead of me was talking like that. Cashier, everyone. And I'm like, that's just the dialect around here, I guess. I get up to the front of the line, I put down the drink and the chips I'm getting, I'm like, and can I get a black and mild? And the cashier immediately just switch. Yeah, that'll be five fifty. And then as soon as I'm walking out of the door, you won't talk about me. <laughs> All of them laugh like that too. Just hep, 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 hep. And I'm like, what the fuck is this place? I need to get this shit out of here. Mm -hmm. you, like, that's where, if you drive through at night, and you get a flat tire, you immediately start hearing threatening banjos. Like, like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. What That's where a... Lizard Man's really from. Oh, Red Essence sounds like a good thing to have. Uh, I'm gonna throw out... A maple Do a syrup. mid mushroom. I just, um, I threw out a maple syrup. Another one? Okay, now I'll throw out a mid mushroom. Two of them. <clears throat> Alright, let me save here. Oh... All right, I'm gonna run and check on my sauce. You want to be on mic or off? I'll be on. All right. Um, Charlotte Flair is currently out while getting some surgery to done or cor to correct an issue from a previous surgery. It was also reported she had a TV deal in the works. The rumor was potentially going to be in she was going to be involved in a reality show project. However, Ryan Satin has now reported on Twitter that Flair has a non-scripted television show in the works, which. That's not what he says at all. Um, from what I've heard, it's not a reality show as reported. It's a scripted show with a big network. Still trying to get more details and confirmation, though. From the sounds of it, it could be... It looks like it could be a major network. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what role she could play. I have no information, and this is pure speculation, but she seems like she would be a good candidate to star in one of those CW superhero shows. Hey, I don't agree with you on that one, uh, Nate. Um, 
Maybe she'll be a supervillain opposite Wonder Woman or something. No, I don't see her playing. No, she's not going to go the Cody Rhodes route. Especially uh, with... No, I don't see it. Um, I don't see Charlotte on a CW show. I don't... Like, I'm not going to tune in for one of those, but, like, I definitely wouldn't for her. Like, I'm at a point now where Charlotte Flair is just poisoned or whatever she's in. Like, she's good in the ring, but that can only carry you so fucking far when booking is garbage. Like, it can only do so much to keep me from being like, eh, nope, don't care. Oh, oh man. Whew, it has been a day. So, let's see if there's anything cool on Twitter today. I might even open some news. Let's see if there's any news worth checking out. Oh, yeah, bad news. Nothing nice. Um. <laughs> yeah, did they announce the new name yet? No, 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 no. no. No, 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 um, hello, I've returned, welcome, I've pulled up some news, nice, um, uh, we'll start with sad news and try to end on a happy story, sure, uh, Grant Imahara, we lost him yesterday at 49 years old. Yeah, I heard about that through Twitter. That was It's unfortunate. Yeah. Trump claims more white people are killed by cops, and how dare anyone suggest that blacks have it bad. Oh, mm. fuck off. Uh, Yikes. Kanye West has bowed out of the presidential race after only checking in one state. <laughs> uh, Florida. Uh, Los Angeles mayor says he is on brink of issuing a total shutdown order as coronavirus spikes. Hmm. Uh, new attack ad turns Trump Jr.'s words against his dad. Yeah. I mean, so often that's like... I mean, it, shoot, Trump's words have been turned against himself. Like, so many people find oh, yeah. his old tweets they made about Obama, and it's like, this is just you, my man. A Texas man used uh, PPP funds for cryptocurrency instead of barbecue. PPP? Uh, the money the federal government gave small businesses to stay open. Mm, yeah. Uh, Megan McCain says she's a proponent of Tucker Carlson. Hmm. Uh. Which is odd. I mean, well, it's not that odd. Her dad, while he is very anti-Trump... That just means that he's not as stupid as we thought, but Mitt Romney is still a very, very bad person who has some really shitty policies. And how, what does that have to do with Meghan McCain? Meghan McCain. Wait. Or Tucker Carlson? Meghan McCain. John McCain. John McCain's daughter? Excuse me. John, it's uh, the same thing applies, which is that John McCain also spoke out against Trump, but... Uh, was still not a very cool person. Um, I got the I got the politician wrong, but as it turns out, is it's still the same criticism. Uh, scam targeting work from home employees. 
Mm-hmm. Um, what's wait? What's that one? Is that my? I don't think that just, applies to me, but I do freelance. Um, let's see. If you work from home, you could be target of a new Russian ransomware scam. Uh, attacking work from home employees in record numbers. Between 62 and 64 percent are now working from home. Uh, we are now in the middle of what could be considered a perfect storm when it comes to scams. Um, the scam was identified by security firm Symantec, warning the group had already struck at least 31 organizations, deploying wasted locker ransomware. Uh, so, it's not saying, uh, uh, the, this is a pretty big leak scam we have on our hands. Use the right tools, no matter what. She work from the time she's covered. So or, what's you know, the, so, what so is the so scam it. itself? It, it doesn't say yet. I'm, I'm scanning the article to find it. Yeah. Uh, they identify employees. These are, and then, uh, Using hard to hack security tools like VPNs, then they wait for them to log off, targeting non work internet traffic to install ransomware. Because many are employees who are using the same computer for work, networks are infected. These attacks. So. It doesn't say. It reads like a fucking. Wow, how fucking useless. Yeah. Good journalism, guys. Um, uh. Ransom, it says, so he, under the banner, how does the new ransomware scam work? The scam was first identified by security firm Symantec. They released, released an urgent statement warning that the group had already struck 31 organizations. Uh, ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts critical data on a computer or computer so that users can't regain access without paying a ransom. Once the hacker is, like, it says what the scam, like, I know what ransomware is. Yeah. How is it happening? Yeah, that's like, the thing is like I know how to deal with ransomware and it's have backups. Just back up your shit, guys. And, and like, even then cause some... to, to make it clear to anybody who isn't aware of ransomware, effectively they you get whatever virus it is and they get remote control of your computer. Yeah, it's just okay, Or not even so necessarily mostly... remote control. Basically they get control of your computer and they encrypt all of your files, all of your files, and they basically say, send money in the form of cryptocurrency to th this person, or whatever it is, within this amount of time, or we will delete, uh, we will delete all of your files. Or rather, we will delete the encryption key, which means that they are lost forever. But, if you have your shit backed up, then you can just be like, I don't care. Delete it, and just, just factory reset your computer. It'll be a pain in the ass, but you just have backups. That's that's how you uh, get around that. Um, so I checked the uh, comments on it, and as other people pointed out, the article just reads like a fucking uh, advertisement for McAfee. Which is mentioned mm. several times in the article, without yeah. mentioning what the actual like scam is, so you can avoid it. Yeah, and I don't, I don't bother with McAfee because so it's it's a fear mongering ad for McAfee is all it really boils down to. Um, don't download programs you don't recognize. Don't. Yeah. Don't um, don't torrent stuff that you're not sure is from a trusted source. Don't steal so if you steal software, um, pretty much. It's pretty much guaranteed if you like get jailbroken software from a torrent. It's yeah. very likely that there's some kind of malware in it. Don't jump where he can see. You. Wait till he's about to peck you. I I was trying to I panicked because i thought um, he only did it twice for the other ones but then when i jumped at the third one i don't know i guess i just got the timing wrong I, what i just watched was you leaping like crazy well yeah he d 
He pecks immediately on them, and then here he... <sighs> what the fuck? Um... Ugh. I mean, that's cool, but ugh. <laughs> I don't need that in my life. Well, I guess um, I just gotta fight him. I don't fucking... I mean, yeah, you eventually. Well, okay, yeah, so you, even jumping doesn't matter because he ends up just coming in and fighting you anyways, so... Fuck it. Um, Jennifer Aniston shared a picture of her yoga mat post-workout and you can see, like, a shroud of Turin's, like, sweat pattern. Mm. But you can see the outline of her shirt perfectly, you can see her shoulders perfectly, her hips, her waistband perfectly. Yeah, sweat. Like, sweat, brah. Yeah, I mean, that's cool, but... Yeah, it's right. just, I mean, I'm, in fact, with a mat like that, like, the foam is just gonna, uh, gonna get an impression. Well, like, does it, eh. You know what'd be cool is doing something like that, and then, like, making, like, a plaster, uh, uh, not mold, what's the opposite of a mold? The part that you pour into the mold. Latex? Well, no, um, not the stuff. What do you call it? When you, you're making a model, and you pour a thing in, you make a thing. Uh-huh. That... A mold. Not the, you make the mold from a thing. Like, uh -huh. you make you make a figure out of clay, and then you make a mold uh -huh. with that. What do you call the figure made out of clay? The negative? The negative, yes. Make a negative of it. Or a model. That. You make a model of the figure so like if you want to make a candle you make a wax you know shape of your candle so say you want to make a candle shape like deadpool for whatever reason you make a clay deadpool that is your model then you pour plaster around that that is your mold or a negative uh would also be another word for the model and then you pour like silicon or latex or uh wax or metal whatever it is you're casting into the mold and that is your positive mm. yeah so basically just making like a positive of it of the uh the the impression well it's not an impression it's just sweat stains oh it's just sweat stains okay well yeah it's yeah. just it's so like specifically laid out that you see like, the impression of her back perfectly from the sweat pattern alone. Now, is that from one use, or is that, like, a stain at this point? Uh, no, this is clearly from, like, one use. Oh, yeah. Um. <sighs> Oof. A dude died after his parachute opened while he was still in a plane. Yikes. Um, should we look at the article titled 13 Foods You Should Never Actually Eat on a Road Trip? Yeah, let's, let's hear them. Let's just, uh, even if there's a description, just go with the, what they actually are and we can discuss whether we agree or disagree with that, uh, that determination. You know those packaged, like, sandwich wraps or sandwiches you can get at a gas station? Uh... That's number one. Like the triangle ones? Where it's like two halves? Yeah, or like the... Yeah, or like the wraps you can get in the same mm. little section. Right, yeah, the, like, the, the deli sandwich fridge. Okay, so none of that. Uh, that... that I don't know Fast about a food. road trip. Fast food. Oh, come on, what else are you gonna eat on the road? I mean, sunflower seeds. Those are gonna be a mess. The, yeah, that's 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 a bad move. Milkshakes. Milkshake. That's just fast food again. And that's just any drink. Like, I Cooked guess. Cooked meat. Co well, I mean, yeah, probably. It's gonna smell the place up. <laughs> Unless you're doing the actual cooking, you don't know if said meat is fully cooked. Save no, yourself. Fuck up. off. That's why I thought it was gonna be yeah. like a smell thing. This is ridiculous. Nah. This list sucks. Soft drinks or seltzer. Anything bubbly. Anything. It can lead to nice. symptoms like 
stomach, upset stomach, nausea, and gas. Candy. Candy. Salty what chips. What? What Be else fucking is there? <laughs> They're just Beef naming jerky. All, all the snacks. Anything with tomatoes. What? I'm just gonna eat like fucking celery the whole fucking trip. Citrus. Citrus. Anything spicy. Anything spicy. Coffee. Coffee. You got. There's no fucking way I'm taking a road trip without some fucking coffee. Fuck out of here. No, that's Caffeine not happening. Caffeine has a laxative effect that might cause upset stomach and diarrhea. Well, yeah, Shot might. Of energy. If you've got the stomach of a wee babby. Like. That literally leaves carrots and celery, like you said. I have to see the reactions to this one. Don't eat on road trips is what I just read. So yeah. basically, don't eat anything. Maybe you should write an article about what to eat. It probably wouldn't take as long. What, you want me what to fucking dip carrots in a hummus? Driving? I haven't seen any whole food choices at the fast food restaurants. This should be everything you're going to eat on a road trip. Yeah. Don't know about y'all, but I don't mind eating unhealthy on a road trip. I need to know Probably. what their, what their like, recommendation list would be. Because, like, they've narrowed out pretty much everything that anybody eats on a road trip. This person's diet consists of whole foods and Panera bread when they're slumming it. Ugh. The not only part of my diet that was not criticized was beer. Thanks. Yeah. Someone with a wimpy stomach wrote this. I eat everything on the list on road trips. The list forgot roadkill. Who hasn't enjoyed eating some flat cat possum mashed ear tastefully prepared over your hot car engine while zipping down your highways and byways? Oh man. Spe so, two food things. First off, you mentioned Panera. They're putting in a Panera, like, in our town now, pretty close to my place. And, like, mm, Coco is gonna go like nuts Panera. for that. I hate Panera. Really? Yeah. Why is this? My diet's restrictive. I can't have... Like, there's one sandwich on their whole fucking menu I can have. Mm, yeah, and they're not really... The, the, uh, 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 uh what do you call it? The, uh... Inclusive? Uh, not Wide quite. ranging? The customizability is kind of low. It's not like a Taco mm -hmm. Bell where you can basically start with a bean burrito and turn it into a friggin quesadilla if you take the time to <laughs> change it. Uh, so all you're allowed is a jar of peanut butter and a loaf of bread. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, peanut butter pretzels. That, that'd that be a solid move for a road trip. No, 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 no too much salt. Dehydrate you. Yeah, then you drink water. Oh, no. Because that probably is make you pee. Yeah, you... Uh, like, that was... You, keep in mind, you that was, drink the water... And then you that was use why the they bottle. Let you have the coffee because then you'd have to go to the bathroom. Listen, you drank the water, so you have exactly that same amount of liquid in your body now. So when you have to go, you already have the perfect receptacle for it. Duh. No, you'd think that works, but it don't. Hmm. It's, all, it's all well and good until your dick gets stuck in the neck of the bottle. If your dick is small enough to fit it in the neck of the bottle, you put put this on yourself. Look, I use a Gatorade bottle and it still gets stuck. Anyway. Those are the wide uh, ones. Never eat a jar, a bowl of dried prunes with a large glass of prune juice on a road trip. Yeah. Uh, um, the other thing I was going to say is... um is uh, I went by the Dollar Tree that has the fridge in my town. And mm -hmm. they got they got a thing of beauty. They had uh, jerk chicken patties, like a Jamaican jerk chicken patty. Mm -hmm. With the crispy outside and everything. Oh, oh, they're so, they're like, they're a dollar a piece because it's Dollar Tree. And I just, I, I pretty much cleared them out, sold out. Better you than me. Being gassy on a long road trip is what makes the road trip worth taking. Yeah. That's that's entertainment, baby. Uh should I should turn It makes my, no my mention of truck bit. stop sushi. No. So that's fine. No. <laughs> no, none of that. I gotta turn my mic down. I realize I'm being if not clipping, getting close. Oof. Alright, I think that'll do it. Wait. Kale. That's all you're allowed to have. Yeah, basically. 
I mean, now kale, I will say one food you should not eat while driving is corn nuts. I don't eat corn nuts in general. They're too hard, man. My teeth. I love them. I, I, they just hurt. Like, I don't even have exceptionally weak teeth or anything. It's just, it feels like you're breaking a molar when you bite into them. I like them. Um, the reason you shouldn't eat them, though, is they do have a shatter effect that you de you cannot control. And it is very easy to get some caught at the back of your throat and cause you to choke. And Yikes. you do not want to have that choking fit while driving. Like, the problem is, you either spit it all out immediately, try and chew it before the next coughing fit hits and swallow what you can, or you suffer with the, uh, like, thing in your mouth and choke on even more of it because mm. it all just like starts going down your throat and you're trying to drive and stay in your lane and go straight no it sucks do not eat corn nuts while driving that's a fair point good good safety tip from us here at the iggy kid stream uh don't eat corn nuts. don't ban racist tv shows viewers need to know they got made that's fair uh and 30 Rock is on that list because, boy, I've never watched it and I'm suddenly glad I didn't. I, I've i seen, like, clips here and there and it looked funny enough, but, like, I don't care enough about SNL to really be interested in a parody of it. I'd rather yeah. watch Sunny with a Chance, which is the Disney Channel version of 30 Rock, basically. And they made, they also Did they made... have blackface scenes? No. Like, multiple blackface episodes? No. They didn't, but it's the same plot. It's just like they're making a kid sketch show, like all that or something. Um, and then it was so popular, the show, that they made that fake show in the show a real show. GOP Senator says voters should back Trump because life was good before COVID. No, it wasn't. It's the low life. Also, this isn't an accident that shit's going bad now. Also, if it's bad now, it's because of his fucking policies. Yeah, like it was gonna be bad no matter what, but he is just making it so much fucking worse. Mm hmm. Shit. What am I fighting? Oh god, I'm fighting the fan? Oh Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's right. When I uh, saw him before, they were in Monstro Town. I didn't think about that. I thought it was just a fan. Um, there's a fish with some fucking DSLs. Okay. I am not okay with this shit. Yeah, fish got some thick lips. Um, this is not okay. I am not okay with this. You're not down with the fish? No. This is disgusting is it is it like a photoshop or is it an actual fish no it's a real fish is it the one with the little kissy lips i just sent it to you on discord all right let's see what we got come on load oh no that's that's so much worse than i expected I, here i can make it better oh, please no here you go Stop. <laughs> it's so much worse than you. I mean, uh, you know, it's interesting. Each of these characters has different HP, but we all share one pool of, like, ability points. Just Wex says, can't believe LA is shutting down again. We did everything wrong, and everything still went wrong. Yep. Like, that's the thing, is we're having to hit it again so much. That was one thing I was impressed by when I went to the Dollar Tree, and I also ran by Dollar General because I needed, is the only place b he I, between I here and Jacksonville that. that has a, uh, it's the only place between here and Jacksonville that has the Reese's Cup Creamer. Oh. Oh, I love no. it. No. No. Um, so here's that same fish, but from a side view. Oh boy, hold on. Getting attacked. It looks like it, someone took a knife to its face, like it lost a street fight. Oh, Jesus. That's that's scary. Oh, that's where its eyes are? Oh, no. Yeah. 
Cooking tip. Try cooking your pasta al dente, which is Italian for the correct amount. Fuck you, it is. Al dente is the worst. There was one, um, there was one, Al like, dente is, like, someone who's like, no, that's good enough. There was the one... The kids will never know. Well, I feel I'll like... I'll just tell them it's al dente. It'll sound fancy. The... I didn't fuck up it's al dente. I... In other words, I fucking hate al dente. There was a world-class chef. Um, who was on like a cooking video on YouTube and he was like, so how do you like your food al dente or uh, wrong? Al dente is awful. I feel like you've been having the wrong al dente then. No, I haven't. It's awful. You'd rather it be so a, a starchy mush? I mean, yeah. Aww. Al dente is undercooked. Al That's dente is not just... undercooked. Al dente, when done properly, is, is undercooked. Is cooked. Period. Is cooked fully, but th not so cooked that the pasta can't maintain its structure. If it's under, if you feel that it's undercooked, then you haven't reached. If al dente I bite your fucking pasta and it's still crunchy in the middle, you didn't cook it right. That's not al dente. Then you did it wrong. Al dente. And that's why everyone serves as al dente. Then they're doing like, it. It doesn't even fold when you like. You can't swirl it. It just looks like you fucking got a. That's spider that's not al dente. That's undercooked. That's they're different. It's literally uh, al dente yeah. is the step right before overcooked because that's the step right before it loses its structure and just turns into mush. See, your definition of al dente is not what everyone else's is. You and I have the correct definition of when pasta is done, but that is not what everybody thinks al dente means. And well, you yeah, tell that's somebody, what I'm saying. Is like it's not that al dente is wrong; it's that these people don't know how to do al dente. No, I mean like that's what everybody else's definition of al dente is. Mm, not in my experience. That's what, oh yes, trust me, believe me, it's disgusting. In my experience, when people cook it al dente, it's it's perfect. It's Still got just the tiniest bit of chew to it, but it's not it's not crunchy at all. It's 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 holding up to the sauce. Um, but to go back, I was uh when I went to when I went to the Dollar General in the Dollar Tree, uh there was only like one person I saw who wasn't wearing a mask out of like a bunch of people. And there was actually a situation where I was at the, I was next in line for the register in the Dollar General, and uh -huh. they had the marks down and everything. The cashier wasn't wearing a mask, which is a little concerning, but, um, but yeah, they had the face shield, which is something at least. Uh, and every, almost everybody in line was wearing a mask. The only person who wasn't was the person in front of us. And so this old lady came up at the back of the line and she was wearing a mask and she actually started talking to the couple in front of her and she was like oh yeah a lot of younger people don't take it serious they're not wearing their masks i'm so glad you guys are and it's like cool yeah awesome and that's like that's like three of the six people in line and as they're talking about that the person in front of me in line who's holding everybody up getting like a month's worth of groceries at the dollar general is mm -hmm. uh she's turns around like she's about to start some shit sees that she's the only one of six people in line not wearing a mask and immediately turns back around and finishes her transaction as fast as she can. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. When like... I worked for Family Dollar, my first day, some motherfucker came in and got two buggy fulls of groceries. And it was all shit like... Um... It started off with, like, just cans and cans of potted meat cans and cans of Vienna sausage mm -hmm. and just tiny things like nothing bigger than like your fist oh yeah I mean that's the thing if you guys two buggy fools if you guys want to get the cheapest if you want to get food that is the cheapest and will get you the most calorie bang for your buck and the most everything like the best thing to eat on a budget it's grains. It's a lot of grains and probably some vegetable proteins like beans if you can handle beans or lentils or something like that that's what you should go for because it's incredibly cheap and it will like do you for a long time. Some red beans and rice, man. That you can with a single recipe of red beans and rice, it'll cost you like 
a couple bucks to make and uh, you can feed a whole family on that. You can always up yeah. it, you know, get some like get no, some, no, this wasn't like some the good, good fat and like stuff. groceries. I'm not talking like the good groceries. That's I'm talking I'm literally the meat full of salt, and that's all it is. That's what I'm saying. It's like yeah, it's like if that guy's going to Dollar General to get that shit cheap, it's like he could be, he could be getting even spending even less for something that's gonna be a lot better for him health wise and just more filling. I probably I could probably and, eat like five cans of Vienna sausages before it got anywhere close to filling. And keep in mind, this was my first day as a cashier, yeah. bringing up all of this. There is a line backing up, and like the customers in line are looking ahead, seeing this shit, and they see the person in front, and they're like, "No, no, 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 no." I mean, they and when finally that customer gets out, like we had a second cashier. That's the max you're allowed to have in Family Dollar because that's all there is. But even then, um, they get that finished. That, Next customer gets you know, I didn't, says, I didn't realize that, but yeah, I've never been in a Family Dollar that has both registers going. Uh, go around Christmas time or hmm. an extremely busy time and they'll open it. The rule of thumb is if you get uh, five customers or more backed up, then they open the second register. Mm. Um, but that's why you never see it, because there's not enough backing up the line. Because most of them have the goddamn common sense not to buy 800 cans of... I didn't even know we could carry that much Vienna sausage and potted meat in the whole store. And like the other buggy was full of like shampoo and deodorant. I'm like... You can't be using that much. That's got to be that's got to be either bunker stuff they're making a bunker or uh, they're Mormon slash Jehovah's Witness no, no, who no, are was... preparing for the calamity. I can tell you they were not. All right. And I'll leave it at that. I mean, it, it's I don't know if like deodorant and shampoo have this as much or if it's just tide but i know with tide it's drugs because mm. you can okay. use tide to buy drugs and to buy drugs to make it'd be to make no, drugs to buy like yeah. tide laundry detergent you can uh exchange that for drugs oh shit and yeah it's a prevalent problem so much so that we would have to uh that if you go to family dollar and uh rough neighborhood like the one I worked in you would find the tide has those little security tags we talked about last time on them. Oh shit. Yeah, and uh, so that's why is because of all the drug deals. So we had a lady who came in and we caught her who had an oversized purse and that's not out of the ordinary. What she had done was lined it inside with plastic Oh, and so had she was gone just pouring tide in. Yep, she took all the tide, dumped it in, and then tried to get out. But we caught her like mid dump. Damn, yeah, cause that's gonna take that's gonna take a few minutes to get that. Yeah, she had, and it was not the like little like normal size where you take the cap off, pour in a little like smaller than a gallon. I'm talking about those big sons of bitches with the little you gotta have like the little drink nozzle thing for a yeah. like a water dispenser nozzle on it. She was dumping two of those into this purse and then that just must walking have been a huge goddamn purse. It was. And like but it wasn't anything out of the ordinary for what you'd normally see. And hmm. so we couldn't figure out at first why it was happening. And then an article came out like a day or two later that uh, Tide was the number one stolen thing in stores because wow. of drugs. And we're like, oh, that's why they keep stealing all the Tide. That's why we got to lock it up. Like, it got to a point where we thought about just keeping it in the stock room and putting little uh, slips out front. For people so, to... so why do drug dealers... Why do they accept that? What do they do with uh, that? Let me Google it, because it's... 
that's I think a, it just comes down to like brand to recognition. Have. It's good to have it in your search history. Um, I think it comes down to just fucking bizarre, uh, fucking brand recognition. Hmm. All right, uh, I'm pulling this from a craft article from 2014. Okay. This charming fellow is Patrick Costanzo of Minnesota who stole $25,000 worth of Tide products from the local Walmart via several daring shoplifting quests over the course of several months. Though apparently he couldn't be bothered to get a new pair of reading glasses. Isolated weirdo? No. Clear across the country, we have the ladies of the Star Nail Salon in Capitol Heights, Maryland. Busted in a raid in 2012, the employees of the salon were found to be trafficking in stolen Tide and selling it to their home country of Vietnam after watering it down to increase profit. That's just the tip of the breeze-scented iceberg. Tide theft is rampant and widespread and shows no immediate sign of letting up anytime soon. Sometimes even the physical presence of the police isn't enough to deter persistent Tide thieves. While en route to investigate a store's complaint of Tide disappearances, a police officer ran into a man piling 100 stolen bottles into his hatchback in the parking lot like the rapture was coming and he was going to wash away his sins. <laughs> Later, as the same officer took part in an interview in front of another store to address the Tide problem, another thief took advantage of the situation to make off with 20 bottles. Uh... The officer then vowed to clean up this town to barely suppress laughter. There are so many questions. Why detergent? Theft is theft. If you absolutely have to steal huge amounts of liquid from a store, you're telling us boot or food, eh, fine booze has less of a market, and why Tide specifically? Why not Gain, Surf, or the clearly superior Snuggle? This is all down to brand value. Is Tide simply the most recognizable detergent, like the Nike of skid mark removal? We're not sure, we just know Tide Mania is so high in the criminal community that the laundry detergent is often considered an outright substitute for cash. As stolen bottles of liquid gold are virtually untraceable, they're frequently used in place of hard currency in drug transactions. Some dealers even insist on it in lieu of actual money. Think we're making that up? A real drug dealer was uh, allegedly caught saying, I'm out, uh, out of marijuana right now, but when I get re-upped, I'll hook you up if you can get me 15 bottles of Tide. At least it'll keep your prison oranges bright. Um, so it's it's I'm straight up a say, thing. It's similar to, I was watching a movie, uh, The Wash, which was a Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg comedy from the 90s. And uh, at one point, uh, I don't remember Snoop Dogg's name, character name in the thing. So uh, Snoop Dogg, his dealer is Tommy Chong shows up and he's basically like okay i i'm not selling you the weed i'm selling you the bong and i'm giving you the weed for free that way i'm not dealing so i guess technically that's by how they trading, do it in, uh, by trading it's not considered dealing that's what they do in uh washington dc that it's legal to give weed away but it's not legal to sell weed so what you do is you buy a poster for like 80 dollars and they'll gift you the weed or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, from uh, New York Magazine. Uh, but yeah, they exchange Tide for like drugs. Uh, weird. Uh, when yeah. I was also at the Dollar General, I was looking because I found some weird stuff at Dollar General before. So I was like, maybe this is the spot where I'll find that blue syrup. Didn't do it though. Couldn't couldn't find it. <laughs> um. Apparently, Diamond Dallas Page is getting over COVID. Oh shit! I hope uh, hope you'll be all right. Yeah. Hope that yoga um, does it for him. Yeah. Hopefully. Um. <laughs> uh. Ely Valley is uh, added again being Ely Valley, mm. which is just, I love Ely Valley. Um, oh, did you see Barry Weiss left uh, the New Yorker or New York Times or whatever the Mac or publication she was with and did it in like the most self-martyring way possible? I didn't hear about this. What'd you do? Uh, so Barry Weiss is one of those who 
she's the kind of person that if you're anti-Israel, you're anti-Jew. And that's a very problematic fucking thing. Like, a people are not equatable to a country or a government. And that's disgusting to imply otherwise. Yeah. Um, and so if you're pro-Palestine at all, you're anti-Semitic in the greatest way. And so uh, she was one of those. And that's really just awful. Like, if you can look at what Israel's doing at all and be like, yeah, that seems fine. Eh, problems. Uh, I mean, it's, it's genocide. Yeah. Just by definition, really. I mean, the, like, and if you're questioning, well, what are they doing? All you really need to know is that they they got Trump on their side, so you know it's not okay. Like, you can just leave it at that and not stress oh, shit. yourself out anymore. It's Birdo. You can just leave it at that and not stress yourself out anymore. It's it's your Birdo. <laughs> yeah, Birdo's fucking awesome. I love this Birdo. Just oh, um. But yeah, she wrote a letter that basically, keep in mind, she tried to get someone fired for saying fuck on Twitter. Come the and then on, she made everybody out like, says fuck on Twitter. And she tried to make out like, you can't, you get persecuted for everything you say. And uh -huh. um, someone called, uh, Uh, like one of those just a hor like just a horrible person and you know fuck the goddamn ultra flame didn't do anything just wasted a lot of FP on that um it's just uh, and so she left and <laughs> it's just that like, yeah. Ely, Ely Valley did a comic or a cartoon making fun of her hmm. <laughs> in the midst of a historic uprising for someone who's chosen. Basically, uh, making herself right. out to be a victim because people called her a piece of shit. Were you, were you casting an incantation there? What happened? I was reading the comic to see if it would translate well to uh, verbal description oh, okay. or not. <laughs> Those freaking yeah. me out. I just heard... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Satan is Lord. I uh, filled out my absentee ballot form today everyone should do so if you're uh, able to vote oh shit yeah i think um i think i have mine here Oop. let's not show my address on stream uh yeah i have my absentee ballot application shit did i run out of time on this uh deadline Oh no, I think this is for um, the primary shit. Yeah. So, if you can vote, get that out there. Or are we still in the primaries? No. Well, some maybe, but I'm not worrying about the primaries because fucking at this point, you know? Yeah, it's pretty much a done deal. Um, so get out get your ballots because it's going to be the safest way to vote yeah um, and they keep trying to suppress it be... because i mean th i'm not shocked considering that they uh the uh republican party has always been the party of voter suppression like they they are huge proponents of being allowed to do that well it's because they know if everyone's allowed to vote they'll lose and yeah. mail-in voting if everyone did that you would see a massive shift. If everyone who could vote just did a mail-in ballot, you would see a massive shift in the shape yeah, of Yeah, everybody's our always like, oh, make it, make it an official holiday and all that, but it's like, no, how about just, like... Make it a ballot. 
Make it a mail-in thing. Do, yeah, just mail it in. That's so much more convenient. And that means that you can do it at your own convenience. Obviously, deadlines, which people aren't always great about, but, like, you gotta... It's, it's not that difficult to deal with. Guys, we can just let people mail it in when they get a chance. Oh, yeah. Well. And it... it Mail-in has its problems, but it's better than not trying at all. Exactly. It's better than nothing. Well, and the earlier you get it in, the fewer problems there are. Because the biggest problem, typically, is they get in past the due date due to no fault of your own. It's just the mail. Mm -hmm. So... Which, technically, they count uh, anything that's postmarked by the deadline, but... But they don't. But they don't. Like, nah. they really don't. Nah. Oof. Actually, uh, I'm gonna go check on my sauce again, so I'll be right back. You wanna be on mic or off? I'll take a mute for now. Alright, we'll BRB, folks. Don't go away. <laughs> oh, you're having a fun time. What's up? <laughs> Teenagers, specifically girls, are like putting on makeup to age themselves to look like grandmas. Okay. So they can go score alcohol. Oh. Like they put on their like COVID masks and go get alcohol. I mean, yeah, if you do it convincingly enough. That's the thing. The rule is if you look like you're less than 40, they have to ask. I mean, not the legal rule, that is. Most most businesses will have the rule, like, they won't ask if you're, uh, if you look like you're over 40. 
uh, Rush Limbaugh, you know, the guy that's always right, mm -hmm. went from claiming it's the common cold to the Donner Party in five months. Uh, of course he did. Uh, he straight up said, we should get used to it, like the Donner Party got used to cannibalism. As many people pointed out, the Donner Party happened because of incompetent leadership. So, yeah, sure did. I mean... <sighs> what a fucking numpty. Alright, level 19? Man. Governor uh, of North Carolina, Roy Cooper, came up with a Plan C, which okay. is for reopening schools, which is all instruction can be remote. Wow, like it's been, it was for months. Yeah. Uh, he said, you know, schools can absolutely in North Carolina do that. Yeah, why not do that for most places? In fact, honestly, aside from stuff like lab science that needs like a location, like most school could be done remotely, really. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. Um, also, great YouTube channel for anybody to check out. It's just fun. Technology Connections. Technology and Connections. What they his do. secondary channel where he does similar, but less scripted stuff, more, you know, Smash Mouth style of video, is Tech Connextras. Okay. And if that name bothers you don't watch the channel you won't like the content Fair but enough. if you can appreciate the punnage uh you'll enjoy the channel that's honestly that's a good rule of thumb just for life if you don't yeah. like the title then probably won't like the thing in it i guess well that's no that's not judging a book by its cover that's judging a book by its title which is a very yeah. reasonable thing in fact judging yeah. a book by its cover hell a lot of books are specifically designed to have a cover that shows you what the plot's like, both through the picture, the blurb on the back, and through the title. So you should judge a book by its cover, god damn it. Yeah, and if a book has a title like Mein Kampf, you know you're not going to dig it. Like, you can just stop right there, Isn't you that... don't need to... Yeah, there was a Simpsons bit where it's like, they thought someone was like a murderer, and then at the end they catch him... And Marge is just like, I guess you should judge a book by its cover. And Chief Wiggum's like, yep, especially if you include the inner flap. That has a ton of information about the book. Yeah. I will share a link to that in the chat. Because I can share links. I'm special. Special mod privileges. But uh, he's done videos recently uh, about, like, video on vinyl... Um, mm -hmm. like, if you like Techmon, you'd really like Tech Connections. Hell yeah. Uh, he did a video about how a 70-year-old toaster is better than any modern toaster. Hmm. Um. Oh yeah, a lot of old stuff. Like, um, there was a video I watched, and it could have been from one of these channels. It was a while ago, but it was showing a light bulb, like an old Edison-style light bulb, and they're like, this light bulb's been going for a hundred years uninterrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's not the running of the bulb that kills it, it's the constant on and off that kills a bulb. So you uh -huh. can actually theoretically burn out a bulb if you created a bot that rapidly switched the power to it on and off. You could kill that bulb in less than a day. Well, how does that... Is it just the ignition and reignition of the the uh, filament? The what, Emery? What? Not well. I guess okay. It's not ignition because it's not a flame. The uh. No, no, no. That's not what you said. The ignition. You did not and say ignition. ignition. You said ignition. I did not say what ignition. The... Yes, you said. Maybe I did. It talks. Maybe I did. Rewind. Okay, <laughs> maybe I maybe I put a hard I sound in there because that makes it sound more intellectual. Sue me. Is it the ignition? Um, no. The ignition of the filament is what makes the bulb glow like the very so sun. So what glow. you're doing, what you're actually doing is, when it is lit up, it heats up and expands. When it's turned off, it cools down and contracts. It's essentially the same as if you took a paperclip and bent it back and forth over and over and over again. Mm. But over the length of the whole thing. 
Okay. So it's just, it's, it's a uniform version of that because it is right. Okay, that makes so, sense. So, think about every time you've ever seen a bulb blow out. It was when you did what? Turn the light on. Most times, yeah. It's always when you turn the light on, it always goes, Poof! That's why. Hmm. Well, I, like a blowout, yeah, but like they've burned out on me in the middle of just regular use. Um... This Valentina lady, uh, I don't trust her. Oh, of course not. You fight her and Dodo here in a minute. Nice. Dodo is pretending to be Mallow. Mmm, okay, I, I missed that earlier. I got that, yeah. like, somebody was pretending to be Mallow, but I didn't make the connection. So, of the uh, people who've been on as enhancement talent on AEW this week, who would you say... Uh, is your favorite that you would like to see signed? Enhancement talent. Uh, are we talking dynamite? Pineapple or, Pete's or, gotta be. Are we? Pineapple Pete's gotta be up there, right? Oh sure. He he's. I mean, he's shot a promo and everything. Which some of the fucking like the uh, signed ring talent haven't even done that shit yet. Um, Pineapple Pete's gotta be up there. Truly. Uh, what was her name? Killing something. Kylan King? Yeah. 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 She's, she's up there. She's pretty solid. Um, there was the one Kath. guy who looked like if Bobby Hill grew, grew taller. He was in a lot of those, uh, a lot of those, like, really closed off ones before they went back to Daly's place. Joe Alonzo? It might have been. Like, the kid, it looked like uh, some junior high kid that they picked up at the local, like, school. To, to be a jobber for him. Uh, you might be describing Joe Alonzo. Maybe. Send me um, a picture. I'll, I'll let you know. Because I remember what he looks like, I just don't remember his name. Like, dark hair, kind of... Not toned body, but not really obese, either. He was a little pudgy. He definitely... He had the, like, Bobby Hill, like, buzz cut. Um, had his, like, screen name all over his, uh, gear. Uh, mm, I don't think that was him then. I, I, he had pretty plain gear, if I remember correctly. Then you're probably describing somebody that only popped up once. I remember him showing up for a couple matches, because I, when he showed back up, I was like, whoa, they brought back this Bobby Hill-looking motherfucker. All right. Uh, this guy. I'll send you a picture on uh it's on Discord. Let's see. Nah, not the, uh. No. What about him now? Nah, that's not the guy. He. I don't uh, think he was wearing a shirt at any point when he came out. Well, I mean, he takes his shirt off, but. Nah, I mean, like he came out sh no shirt on both times. Uh, I'd have to check back. I don't know, man. I I just remember specifically like. I fucking, I wanted to be like, look at this Bobby Hill motherfucker to you, but I think I forgot to but by the time his match was over, because uh, it was definitely one of those, like, two-minute in-action matches. Man, people are, man, I clicked on Reddit for the subreddit AEW Jobbers. I immediately hated everything I saw. Like, goddamn, Reddit sucks. Did they have a picture of an AEW job? No, it was just... Like complaining about the win loss record. Oh, shut the fuck up, folks. What what what's really to say there? Um. Yeah, Reddit is pretty bad. I I only really follow um, I follow Am I the Asshole because it's cathartic to sometimes see that relationship advice can be funny. Uh, but I mostly C Coco basically like reads those and then reads us the good ones. Um, just use the Twitter one. Just do the Twitter that's, one. That's mostly what Coco does, yeah. Um, yeah. And then the... Uh, I, I go on the voice acting ones because, like, maybe 5% of the time there's people posting, like, uh, job searches. 
Um, do you follow Chinchilla Silla on Twitter? That sounds really familiar. I retweet her a lot, or retweet yeah, them a lot. Uh, I'd have to look in my, I'd have to look into my Twitter follows. I can just her. check. Uh, followed by Ely Valley, Elizabeth King, uh, Kelly Levin, Cody Johnston, Ely Valley, Brooke Counts, and Molly John Fast. No, you don't. Okay. Um, I might in the future then. I, I may verb follow them so that well, here's, I will now. Here's the thing. Here's a tweet to make help you decide whether you want to make it official. Shared a picture of trending in the United States. Donner party. Their reply? Great timing! I just got a grill! <laughs> <laughs> uh, their screen name, like, their at is ChinchillaZilla, but the name attached is I bless the rains down in Castamere. <laughs> nice. It's a solid one. That's solid. So, um, going back to the Donner Party, here's a uh -huh. here's a dark, like red envelope question. Uh, uh -huh. Let's say Donner Party. Would I eat a, are you asking would I eat a person? Because absolutely, mm -hmm. ask no, first. no, no, no. Uh, not uh, not ask whether you would. Me. You're you're in a situation where you're gonna. You're, you're not. You you must. So there's no backing out, even if you want to. And uh -huh. basically, you. Uh, you have to prepare and eat one meal that uses human meat. What meal uh -huh. would you make? Do I have at my disposal? Like, you, have like a, you have like a professional kitchen at your disposal. Is time of the essence or do I have time? No, you By can take a lot of time. As long as you want. This is fully government sanctioned. You know, you can decide how that scenario works out in your head. But the government is fully cheek. cool with it. Was that? Corned ass cheek. Corned ass cheek. Mm-hmm. Do you think is that really is that really a great one to use? Like I feel like you'd want to go a little it's higher, fatty. get a little further from the from the feet. No, no, no. it's fatty. It's mm. meaty. It's the meatiest part of the body. Sure. Um, depending on the person in question, you know, you'll get decent uh rendering during the boiling process of fat and collagen. Mm. Um. It's the least problematic cut of meat because, like, there's not really that many meaty places on a human body. That's, like, yeah. Unless you like, get someone go with, who what, is, like, if, if you're, like, a bodybuilder, you might have some like, solid meat fiber. And even then, it's going to be dense. It, it would only be good for, like, jerky. Um, Fair. You don't want, like, bodybuilder steaks. Those are going to be tough and chewy yeah, that's um a good point so yeah you gotta go with a corned ass cheek hmm. like that is not that i've thought about it um at all <laughs> that would be creepy that's wouldn't fine. It? i, I mean, it's, never it's, fucking it's, <laughs> listen i'm never gonna judge anyone for having weird dark fantasies because let me tell you in your imagination it's important to the development of your mind to actually like work that kind of stuff out and explore I mean, things that are know. in, uh, to put it lightly, fantastical circumstances. I mean, like, oh, and that's it. the thing. Like, unless you go with thigh meat, which is just the lower ass cheek, if we're being honest, as far as uh, cuts of meat go, um, because it's just what it is. Uh, you know, it's, you don't want to, because everywhere else has way too much connective tissue. Yeah. Your forearms, because we have so many, like, articulated joints that we do so much with, that you just got connective tissue making up so much of the human body that, I mean, unless you're going for organ meats, which I'm not a fan of to begin with. The best part would be from knee to hip, just that area. That's a good and point. Since... Yeah, most of our meat ends up being in like our limbs more than anything. Unlike a pack animal, like or not a pack animal, like a farm animal, like a pig or a cow or whatever, where, where most of their the body trunk. is. Yeah, it's all torso. So, in my opinion, you gotta go with the ass because it's the most pure meat. 
and you can want to cook it in a way that disguises the fact you're eating human ass cheek. So that's going to be uh, a boiling method, and the best way to boil meat is corned beef. So Fuck, I fell out of the palace. Yeah, you're supposed to. Okay. Do when I go you to get the... back, yep, you go back. Okay. No, you jump up on the thing. No, no, I got. Like I, 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 wait a second. You're seeing things that are like 15 seconds ago. Don't worry. Uh huh. And then you, yeah, you get a little cutscene. Yeah. I also okay. like how she's got like a a parrot on her head. She's got yeah. head parrots. At first, I thought it was just a hat designed to look like a parrot, but that's no, that's actual bird. Uh, yeah. There's the same reason that the idea of like winged humans is so dumb to me, because we're just, we're not designed at all to have wings. We have so little trunk muscle, and we're, our our point of like uh, uh uh our center of gravity is like in the totally wrong space to fly. Like you yeah. basically the whole time be. You basically have to be, like, a weird tilted thing, because you couldn't lay out flat, your legs are too heavy. As you notice, like, on birds, they're, like, pretty much all chest, and, like, their legs just are tiny and tuck up. Like, we can't do that, and everybody imagines it being, like, Superman, but it's, like, that's just, that's not how gravity works. Yeah. Um. And some would say, well, what about going for breast meat? Like, no, because that's mostly fat on humans. Yeah. Um, even same if you even like a bodybuilder, there's gonna be some fat there. And again, with bodybuilders, you, that's you want for that person to atrophy a little bit first. Mm. Like you want them to be last on the list. Sure. Um. Uh, like unless they are just blessed by the Lord, penis meat ain't gonna do much. You're gonna have what one hot dog, a cocktail wiener. It's also, I, I think, every time I've seen, like, on Fear Factor or, like, a YouTube video from National where Geographic, they're eating, where, they're eating, uh, where they're eating a penis, it's like, it looks just, like, chewy and unpleasant. Yeah. And, you know, again, that leaves organ meats, and, I mean, who fucking wants to have that? Yeah. Uh, some, here's of them, a... some of them might be kind of rich, but I've pretty much only ever had, like, a bite of liver. And it tasted vile. Um, you live in the south now. Oh, you might live too far south for this. You do, never mind. What? Um, you don't live far enough north. You, there, Like, when I moved to Savannah, and I was still able to have red meat, mm. I was heartbroken that I couldn't get uh, niece's liver pudding. Oh. It's the only way I'll ever eat liver. It's the only way. And it's delicious, and I can't have it anymore. So I'm not sad that I I plan on moving to Seattle because I don't want to be reminded of it every time I go to the grocery store now. But it was this. It, it's it's a sausage, basically a liver sausage. Oh, uh, so don't pudding more like ha like bl black pudding or blood pudding. Yeah, but you don't call it either of those. You don't call it liver pudding. If you talk to a real southerner, they will never call it liver pudding. They'll call it... And it sounds worse, but if you grew up with it, it's delicious. And you can eat it one of two ways. You can either... You can slice it, so it's like a Wait, 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 wait. Step back, though. What what, is, what do the southerners call it for you? Uh... Let, me, let me describe it first. All okay, right. okay. It's a liver sausage with... Uh, Mostly like pepper, like black pepper, some salt, um, oatmeal ground in, but like you don't notice. Um, and we call it liver mush. Mm, it sounds like a much uh, more tender scrapple. Kinda? No. No, not quite. Um, it's pig liver, cornmeal, and spices. Yeah, uh, that common sounds, in Western that North Carolina. Like some scrapple. Um, cornmeal, peppers, and sage to taste, but eh, you, I, I've never had it with sage. Um, and it's very different from like head cheese or scrapple, which is just awful. Um, okay. Scrapple is a uh, mush of pork scraps and trimmings combined with cornmeal, wheat flour, and spices. So it's similar, but not the same cuts of meat 
Mm, okay. Um, liver mush is just liver. Though, uh, according to the wiki article, it also includes pig head, which is not true. It's just, that's why it's called liver mush. Um, so what you do is you buy it and it comes in like a brick. And you can slice it off. Well, I mean, you slice it off regardless. And you either fry it in a pan and flip it like you would, say, spam. Or you can just put it directly on a sandwich cold from the fridge, which is how I like it, with cheddar on a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Two slices are about the size of a slice of bread. Um, and that's how I like it. I also like it fried. You would have it for breakfast with uh, grits or toast, whatever. If you have it with grits, you mash it up and scramble it in the grits with your fork. But, oh man, I miss liver mush. And uh, it's delicious. And I miss it. And they don't sell it down where you live. Because mm. Nieces is a Charlotte area business. And they don't ship that far. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so here's a fun headline. I think we can all enjoy. You know, one second before that, I gotta redact my previous statement. I just remembered, uh, when I was a kid, I used to eat fried chicken gizzards anytime I could find them. Those are good. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. Those solid, and that's Oregon, so. Um, I like, um, liver mush. That's the only organ meat I can really go for. I'm willing to try other foods. Like, I'm willing to try haggis. I'm absolutely oh, yeah. willing. Try Haggis. Haggis, again, sounds like that sort of same situation of like a liver mush, but with a few oh. more bits. I, I'm totally on board with giving it a shot. Um, I would not... Um, so I'd be willing to try Haggis. I'd be willing to try uh, Chitlins. Mm. A.K.A. Chitterlings. Um... Like, I'm willing to try all of them. Oh sure, but... See, that's that's my thing too. Is like I, I'll try everything at least once. Um, yeah. But let me tell you, there's a lot of things that uh, I'm not necessarily looking forward to trying. But I'll I'll give them a shot. I could be proved wrong. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things I've been surprised. Like, oh, that's actually not as nasty as I thought it would be. So here's a fun headline and. Oh boy. When I say fun headline, I mean, like, I take guilty pleasure in it because karma, you know? But sure. obviously, I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't want anybody to die. But karma just feels really good sometimes. And it feels... Whatever. Woman who became infamous for racist rants on camera allegedly struck by fire truck. Oh... A woman who made her name a made name for herself being caught on video spewing racism has been hit by a fire truck and critically injured, according to a report from the Citizen Times. Rachel Dawn Ruit suffered oh damn life threatening injuries after being struck by a truck July thirteenth in Asheville, North Carolina. God damn. Earlier this month she made headlines after she attacked a fourteen year old girl and ripped off a woman's hijab during a Black Lives Matter protest. Um she stepped out in traffic on Patton Avenue going towards downtown Asheville as she was walking with some traffic coming from behind her. The fire department truck that you see in the background is the vehicle that she stepped out in front of. Uh, she was 41, was arrested on July 4th for ripping off the hijab and grabbing a teenager in the groin. Good lord. Uh, telling her she needed to be put down. She was also accused of threatening to rape the teen. Okay, she could get hit by a fucking truck. I don't give a shit I was going to say, her. yeah. I, I honestly, I miss the point, days. She... I miss the days when it was just assumed that racer, racists, bad people, full stop, and Nazis, the worst kind of person because they're the worst kind of racist. But now it's yeah, like we well, gotta treat it like there's some kind of, some kind of thing to get through. It's like, nah, if you're a fucking violent racist, fuck you, get hit by a truck. Yeah, We're, especially the point you. at which you are assaulting people physically like no That's you're it's alright yeah. you get do you remember in the mid 90s when wide mouth cans finally like like started um like do you remember the transition where are you that old 
I I was born in 92, so I might have been too young. I don't remember the transition. Oh, man. Hold on, let me Google. When did Wide Mouth Cans come out? Speaking... 96, you would have been four. Speaking, though, of, um... Because, like, every can has it now. Of the 90s... Uh, I got a can of Surge from the Dollar Tree. I haven't had it yet, but I haven't had that It's so ever. good. I bought a case of it when Do we I? moved to Savannah. There was a, a, a store that sold it, and I bought a case of it, and I was so happy. Like, you can go on my Instagram right now and find that case of Surge. Um, hold, on, hold on a second. How do I... They said to go to the volcano and fight uh, Czar Dragon or whatever. Uh, yeah. You leave... You gotta take the bus. Gotta take the bus? Where do I take the bus from? Go back to the place where you were jumping on the springs. Uh, Bean Valley? No. The Nimbus Land. Nimbus Land? All the way back there? Okay. Yeah. So Go to Nimbus Land. We're in Nimbus Land, gotcha. Go to town. Town. And head, uh... You gotta go to the hot springs. With Hot Mallow. Springs. Oh, no, wait, that's actually... Wait a minute. It's actually down by the springs. Just gotta go through this hole. Here's the Hot Springs. Okay, what's up? But only royalties yeah. allowed. There's Malo. Ah, it's a real prince. There's no way that fat bird could have been a prince. No big deal. Malo is so so accepting. I love this little, little man. I mean... Was racing not to be a peckerhead. Yep. Ooh. Oh, geez. Everything flashed when I hopped in the hot spring. It must be nice. Mm hmm. Now, I believe there is an exit from the hot springs. Yeah, it's on the there. other side here. Oh, yeah, and that just drops you straight down. There's no bus. Uh, in that case, go back up to town mm -hmm. and head to the far west side next to the castle. Okay. It should be somewhere over there. I mean, that dropped me just right into the volcano, so... Yeah, okay, then go back. I, um... Yeah. Yeah, I, I found the picture with all my surge on it. Um... Nice. Copy link. Uh, I bought a case of it, like, a straight-up, like... Uh, 1 over 2 says, I've had surge once, and my, my reaction was, I don't like this, but I feel like drinking more of it. I mean, you're not wrong. I, I have the same reaction. I'm just like, this only... This kind of tastes like slightly better Mountain Dew. Eh, it's okay. Did you already handle then, the like, a, a few a few hours later, I'm just like... It's, uh... I feel like another Surge. Did you already battle the Axum Rangers? Uh... Axum Rangers? Oh, I guess not, then. I don't recall. Uh, well, then you're in the right place. Keep going. Uh, did you did you meet a toad dressed like Guy Fieri yet? No. Oh, then you're going the right way. Okay. You're in the right place. Got. Uh, this is one where you will have two battles back to back. Uh huh. So after you fight a dragon, go back and uh, like backtrack and heal because sure. you're going to be pissed if you don't. Uh. So, I don't know who this dumbass is, but someone uh, says, The reason the leftoids really despise Tucker Car Carlson is libidinal. He's not a bootlicker. They are, and it kills him. First of all, Wait, really? He's not a bootlicker? The guy who licks boots so thoroughly, he knows the intimacy of the tread on each pair by like, you could blindfold him and run the tread of a boot over his tongue he could tell you the manufacturer's birthday motherfucker um, can read the wash instructions like braille with his taste buds uh and he reminds them of guys who kicked their asses in high school yeah, i remind right. you this is the guy who got bullied so hard he stopped wearing bow ties as part of his official look and he's the uh, heir to Swanson Frozen Foods. Shut the fuck up. I would have 
if a motherfucker like that stepped up to me in high school, it would not have been a uh, would not have been a problem for me. Let me tell you no. right now. Like the theater kids could have beat up Tucker Carlson. Shut the. They fuck probably up. fucking did. I mean, as as Cody Johnson keeps pointing out when he does profiles on some more news of these different uh, these different idiots, like they pretty much all wanted to be big in Hollywood, failed, and so instead decided to be conservative pundits instead. And like, yeah. yeah, they're exactly the kind of person you'd expect to fail in Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, uh did you know the reason, uh, fucking Alex Jones is famous is because a filmmaker found his nonsensical rants fucking hilarious and bullshit crazy, included him in a movie, and, uh, it actually launched him to fame. Like, people heard what he was saying in that and like started tuning into his show more and more until like you know now yeah, that that sounds about right because like, you can a find old videos tried to make fun of him old vi you can find old videos of him on like the local news where it's like oh he was he was arrested cuz he kept he started a mob in the post office cuz he started he started complaining about how the lines were long. He's like, everybody's here, they need to get their mail. It's like, yeah, dipshit, it's a line. What are you, still in kindergarten? Yeah. Wait for yeah. the fucking line. They can't just have infinite number of people to immediately serve everybody, dude. You gotta wait sometimes, it's just life. Then where is all our taxpayer money going? For uh, the people the police, who are doing mostly. their best. It's yeah, hard people. doing post office shit. The police mostly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> police are getting most of that money. Hopefully not for much longer, but we'll see. Good fucking luck. Uh... <sighs> I used to ask myself why nobody ever called CPS on Professor X, and then I remembered how most or how people felt about mutants. Mm. You didn't have to make me think about that. Like that's accurate, but you didn't have to say it. You didn't have to put that out loud? I mean, that's... honestly... That's the, that's the truth. It's sad, but that's the truth. I, there was an advertisement for a show coming up uh, about a couple who have 11 kids. Holy shit. Including multiple multiples. And the woman's pregnant with triplets now. They already got 11, got three more on the way. I mean, that's pretty big, but that's no 18 and counting. I mean... Fucking, how do you not... How do you get to, like, the fifth kid and not rip your own testicles out? J like... My mom, I'm, I'm one of, uh... Seven kids, so... Oh, no, 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 these kids are all less than teenaged. These are all non-teenage kids yet. How do you get to that point and not just get it done? No, like, I mean like the there were like three of my siblings are half siblings, but there was a point where all seven of us were in were living in the same house at the same time. It was a nightmare, I'll tell you that much. So I don't I can't imagine eleven. God, my mom was the youngest of six, but she was like they were spaced up so enough or so much that my oldest uncle was old enough to move out and have kids of his own by the time my mom was born. So, yeah, and... <sighs> oh, do, 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 do. ah, shit. That's the wrong way. No, no, I only got like one dude for this star. Oh, that sucks. I don't know which one of y'all... I don't know who on my Twitter shared this already, so it might have been Dina, or Coco, but... No, it's apparently someone I follow, and I don't remember following them. Okay, cool. <laughs> what do you got? I sent it on Twitter. God uh, damn it, that don't help me them. right now. Someone's showing their dad how to use, uh, Spotify. Oh lord. And so they sign into their account, and, uh... This show's recently played, and it's all, like, half-naked women. And their dad's just staring it on the uh, TV screen like, ah. <laughs> oh, man. 
That makes me think there was this clients from hell where uh, they were like, okay, you're gonna need. They were like, th 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 this client. I was talking with all of their executives, and I figured, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to explain it to them. This is pretty user-friendly. So I was like, all right, the first step, you gotta log into your Gmail account. And immediately someone was like, I don't have, think I have Gmail, uh, can you get the, is that free? What's, what is that? And then another one was, I had Gmail, but like a year and a half ago my friend used my phone, and now when I log into Gmail, it shows her Gmail and not mine, so I guess I'm just out. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. I mean, I'm sure that they helped them right then, <laughs> because the end of I that finally, post was just like, oof, this is going to be more work than I expected. I finally, like, uh, set my desktop Windows account to be the same as my small PC, mm. the pocket-sized Windows. I'm like, I'm shocked it took me this long to do that. Yeah. Because, like, the mini PC it barely gets used, to be honest. But it's yeah. a thing that, like, I didn't even have an account signed into it. That's how rarely it gets used. Right. So I finally, like, fixed that. Um, but, yeah, it just surprised me. Like, oh, yeah, I should do the thing. And, yeah. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, and other good news, it's non-binary day, so happy non-binary day to any of our NB followers. Da -da 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 -da. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for yeah. being non-binary. You're cool. Yeah. Uh, and Noel Stevenson, creator, uh, or writer, head writer of the new She-Ra, Showrunner. said that my gender, or my gender is yes. Hell yeah. Uh, Alexa Bliss is now on Cameo. Eh. Um, That's what was it? Big... I came up with like a joke, it, not so much a joke, but like a an explanation because people seem to have so much trouble with the singular they. And I was like, just think of it like when you're referring to a rock band because your non-binary friend also rocks. Yeah. And uh, no else even says my gender is yes. And, uh, I am non-binary or something like it, and I use any pronouns. I don't mind being called she or grouped with women. Any gender terms are fine with me. Um, to which, uh, Noelle's spouse said, I love them. Uh, I know their spouse better than mm -hmm. I know Noelle. Right, yeah, you've Thanks. mentioned that. Uh, I've already said this one before, but my favorite, my favorite non-binary joke is still, um... Are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm tired. Um. Um. What the fuck? What is the fuck? <laughs> oh, so I was on Postmates yesterday with Maddie, mm -hmm. and we discovered uh, either A. Postmates offers like stock photos for people to put in their menus or B one restaurant listed itself and twice with separate menus because oh. their photos are literally just the same photo but one is facing to the right and one is facing to the left in such a way that it looked like one spread photo <laughs> It took us a minute to, like, realize, no, that's the same photo, just incorrectly laid out. What do, yeah. is it like, does it have, like, a logo or a name on it? It does. Um, I'll send you the pictures on Discord. Hold on. Sure. Because it had us cracking up when we discovered it. Um, it's the Walk and Lotus Cafe. So here's the picture for the Walk. Here's the picture for Lotus Cafe. And then here they are together in the middle. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's definitely like a stock photo that they just put in um, but for they, restaurants they that mirrored. haven't done their own thing. But one of them mirrored it. Yeah, well what? no, I mean like that's like an automatic stock image, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, but then why would it mirror? Like, why would they? Why would they flip the image across the vertical axes? For variety. But it's very obviously not variety. No, like they, see, they Andrew, no, 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 no. I, I don't know how you can make this mistake. See, this one, this pan is turned with the handle pointing left. So that is uh -huh. a di that that is very different from the one pointing right. See, left and right are diametric opposites. So I, it really I shouldn't have to explain this. You see, uh, those are different. Uh huh. So it, it's a, it's completely different. It's really it's as different as you can get. They're full opposites. So you know, uh, it's a ton of variety. Um. Did I tell you about when we first moved to Savannah and Cory came up for the first time? No. Have you, have you heard? So, we found out that Savannah has a lot of adult uh, novelty stores. Sounds about right. And, yeah, so we just went to a bunch of them. And I think my favorite one had suckers, like lollipops. See, here's the thing. I differentiate between a sucker and a lollipop. Okay, hold a on. Sucker... I, I do too? Let me hear your <sighs> difference. Lollipop is flat. Yes. Yeah, same. Circle sucker Sucker's flat. the ball or like... Well, sucker uh... could be any shape on a stick. Like, if it's a hard candy on a stick in any shape other than a flat disc, it's a sucker. Yeah, specifically, I'd say lollipops are the ones that are like the braided candy that they spiral into a disc. Or the little flat one that your doctor would give you that had the, like, loop for a stick instead of just a straight stick. Sure, yeah. If it's a flat disc, it's a, a lollipop. If it's uh, any other shape, it's a sucker. And that is where I differentiate. Yeah, same, same. And so they had suckers in the shape of giant rainbow dicks. Nice. How giant are we so, talking? Uh, you couldn't have fit the whole thing in your mouth. Like that's they were pretty, about that's pretty solid. Well, are we talking about, your mouth or my mouth? Because I got a pretty big mouth. Uh, we don't want to go down that road, but <laughs> uh, I'd say they were about. Mm, inch and a half wide and probably about if I if you hold up your hand and do like the whoa dude handsome signal where you got like your three middle fingers checked yeah. down and your pinky and thumb pointed out as far as you can the hang loose symbol as they call yeah, it about that long okay that's like six to eight inches depending on your hand yeah and it was this just big rainbow dick. And I kept snickering to myself over in the corner when I saw it because I was like, <laughs> it's a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? like, I would not be shocked if you read the label and that was the actual name. I wouldn't either, to be fair. Um, God. My Instagram goes not very far back. Uh, yeah, it makes me smile that my, uh, the first picture in my Instagram is from, uh, what's the comic that oh, no. Jan and Vasquez did that wasn't Johnny or Squee? Oh, uh, I feel sick. I feel sick. It's a panel from that where, uh, her friend shows up at her house and yells, I hunger for ass meats, bitch. <laughs> Which is a hilarious line, but I don't think really any character in that series would even have ass meats. There's less skinny, skinny characters. Yeah, they're the characters you eat first. Well, that's the cause... thing. Is if you look up interviews from his Johnny the Homicide Maniac days, jo that Johnny was just Jonan. Like, that's how he dressed. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's always been that skinny, but, like, he had the same hairdo and everything. Mm-hmm. With, like, the big uh, old whatever you fact, call it's in front. when he drew himself in the comics, you, he had to differentiate by drawing his hair a little nicer and giving himself glasses and uh, earrings. Because yeah. otherwise he would have looked... And he had to make his head more angular and small. Sure. It's Wait, interesting. Um, I've, I've, like, listened to quite a few interviews with him, and he talked about how... Johnny the Homosexual Maniac, he made that while he was in high school, and he would basically just go to the comics publisher in town, 
after school and just like submit his new issue and everything. So that it's not only is that really impressive, but that's just so fucking cool. You could never really do that today. There aren't any publishers that are like small enough that they'll accept that kind of submission. There's one. There's one. It's in Seattle, and I wanted to work for them, but they. Oh, who? Uh, uh, Fantagraphics. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize Fantagraphics was in Seattle. Yeah. Huh. Their publishing arm, and their they have a store there as well, where they sell the comics out of the like their own comic shop. Weird. I know. Yeah. I mostly, if I went to a comic shop, I went to uh, Phoenix Comics. I, w I went to Phoenix Comics, which was um, on Capitol Hill, or I went to... Oh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, damn it, there was one that was like downtown. I can't remember. There's also, there was uh, Sandman Games and Comics on the, the AV, which I went to for quite a while. They, they now, were nice, fairness, but they were kind of small. In fairness... Fanta did start in 1976 in College Park, Maryland, but mm. their headquarters is Seattle, Washington, which is... That makes sense. It's definitely, um, like, a lot better to its art community and everything. I don't know enough about it to say that one way or the other, but I did apply for their internship and did not get the spot, so... Unfortunate. I'd, I'd uh, recommend... Um, looking into just doing like, uh, if you can't find like a writing job, like looking into doing cashier I, well, I work want, at a comic shop. I don't shop. want uh, writing. I want it to be an uh, editor. Well, yeah, uh, right. Like a uh, a writing or writing adjacent job, I should say. But they have a, a an actual like in store, like brick and mortar store downtown Seattle that we didn't get to go to, and it really disappoints me that I didn't get to go to that. But it's at uh, 1201 Vale Street in Seattle, South Vale, next to a place called Flip Flip Ding Ding and Via Tri or Tribulani or Tribunale Pizza. What, uh, what neighborhood was this in? Huh? What neighborhood was this in? It just says Fan uh, South Vale Street, Seattle, Washington. It's near Hill Street. Uh, Kyoto Art and Antiques, Star Brass Works Lounge, Machine House Brewery. That Fonda sounds. La that Katrina, sounds like it might be in a uh, 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 Soho. Near uh, Recycling Depot, Georgetown Music, Georgetown Inn, Tacoma. Oh, Screw Georgetown! Products. Shit, yeah, I never hung out in Georgetown. That was one of the, the small towns that was around Seattle that got kind of absorbed into it as it expanded. It's like off a place called Ruby Chow Park. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not as familiar with Georgetown. It's pretty far out there on the outskirts. Yeah, um, I wanted to go there. And we, like, we drove by, but we weren't able to go in. Mm. I started having a panic attack. And was like, can we leave? Can we leave? Can we please fucking leave. Yeah. yeah, it's in Georgetown, uh, between Greater Duwamish and Van Aslet, hmm. or Van Asselt, um, right off of Five. I like guess right off of Five. Okay. Um, so if you're ever back up there, the, the, check it out. Um, oh, I, I definitely should be to visit family at the very least. Well, most of my family is talking about moving away from Seattle. They don't seem to like it very much anymore, which is fine, I guess. I still really love it. I liked it a lot. Um, I miss it like I grew up there. Um, now I'm looking at Cal... Or, man, Montreal's on the other side of the country. Drawn and Quarterly is... Another place I wouldn't mind working at all. Yeah. But they're out of Montreal. The, the, That's the, the closest the Canada the... you'd get over there is uh, Vancouver. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at like some of the companies that are uh, Canada, definitely Canada. seems like it'd be a, a good place to live. I've always wanted to move to Vancouver because uh, the animation scene there is big enough that like that's it's a smaller market than LA. But it's still big enough that like a lot of cartoons are getting made there, and there's probably still a bunch of competition, but not nearly as bad. But I got talked out of it because, you know, immigration would be hard. 
Oni Press is out of uh, Portland. Oh, I knew that, yeah. And Yen Press, I'm pretty sure. And what press? Yen, like the Japanese money. Mm, I've not heard of them, so I'd have They're, to do Yeah, they, they do stuff like... Uh, uh, Wait, Lumber there's games. a Milwaukee, Oregon? Yeah. Oh yeah, Oregon there's has a Milwaukee, a, Oregon. Most of the towns in Oregon are uh, named after towns from the rest of the country. Wow. Okay, that's lazy. Oh sure. Uh, let's see, Portland. A lot of Image Comics is also in Portland. Yeah, that makes sense. Again, like the Northwest is a big mecca for art industry and tech and all that i'm looking at like around that area now like second I, I don't mind catching a train or something to work if uh maddie wanted to work in seattle still because i mean i ain't got nowhere to go now you'd be catching a train to where from seattle to um portland that's not the worst but it is it's still three hours what you could do, um, instead of the train... Hey, let me remind you that I've had jobs... Oh, wait, first of all, don't non-Canadians have trouble getting voice acting jobs in Canada? I hear so many stories of VAs losing roles due to the animation studio changing to a Canadian one. Uh, well, no, it's, um, you, ha you have to have dual... Um, citizenship. Yeah, so, like, Tara Strong, like, I know one, you'd know this, Tara Strong got to be Twilight Sparkle because, well, the rest of them were... Uh, the rest of the My Little Pony voice actors were in Canada. Tara Strong grew up in Vancouver, so she has dual citizenship. And so she, while she did record uh, her lines remotely, um, she was still allowed to work for them. So yeah, that's the thing. Is, like, I'd need to get some kind of citizenship like that. Uh, but yeah, I'd say if you want to commute down to Portland, actually the way to go would be Bolt Bus. They're, they're base it's like a Greyhound, but it's like 10 bucks to get down to Portland. May maybe even less than that. Like, it's it's incredibly cheap. The only yes, thing is, like, it, it is a commuter bus, so you'd have to go early in the morning and you'd have to get back late at night. Yeah, my previous jobs had me in cars for just hours on end so oh sure i'm just saying it's not a keep in mind the six hours for commute when you uh when you decide on your hours and stuff if you do get a job down there yeah because otherwise it's new york or los angeles for me and i am not the other reason i should say i should say uh one the other reason that um the vas will lose the role if they move to a canadian production is because uh the vancouver um the vancouver uh union is a lot cheaper than the la union so sega aftra commands a lot higher prices for their voice actors and voice actors who live in la expect higher rates so Vancouver is just going to have cheaper talent that they'd prefer to use, which is probably part of the reason they moved it there is because the whole production is just going to be cheaper. There's a fucking comics publisher in Marietta, Georgia. Really? Top Shelf Productions. I'm not familiar with their work. Me neither. Um, which, like, I can't, like, as much as I follow comics, it's impossible to keep track of everyone's work. Um, oh, certainly. Oh, they're a subsidiary of IDW. Subsidiary? Is it still an imprint if it's uh, comics? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. It says a lot that if you Google them, uh, Top Shelf, uh, it says Top Shelf Productions, about us. Alan Moore. <laughs> they call this enemy. Catalog. Like, the yeah. fact that, like, that they have Alan Moore as, like, one of the top things there. I uh, mean, so, the, do you need much more than that? I mean, yeah, you kind of, that's kind of like advertising that, uh, we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin on the show tonight. Like, it, it's... That's enough for the average person. Like, the average... Yeah. 
comic book reader hears Alan Moore, and they're probably like, "Yeah, that I'm I'm down." I've never heard of any of these comics. What do you get? With Read the them off. Let's see if of... I've heard any. Okay. Um, we they call this enemy by George Takei. Okay. That sounds uh, interesting. Yeah, it's about his time in the concentration camps here I, in the United I figured, States. Yeah. From Hell by Alan Moore. Uh oh wait yeah I know that one. Highwayman by Corin Shadme. I haven't heard of it. Cosmo Knights by Hannah Templer. No idea. Penny Nichols by M. K. Reed. A Shining Beacon by James Albin. Beelzebub's. Oh, I've seen this one as a web comic. What is it? It's uh this family of like uh, death metal fans. Or death metal artists. Well, I mean, whatnot. what was the? You kind of cut off the title. What was that? Beelzebub's by J. Oh, just Beelzebub's. I thought it was like Beelzebub's blank, like it was yeah. a possessive Beelzebub's. No, no, no. It's this. Like, I'm sure if you googled it, you'd be like, oh yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me see if I can find uh, like an uh, image to show you. You'd be like, oh yeah, I've seen this. Um. Because I used to follow this one regularly until, like, I guess it got picked up. Um, I'm sure, like, as extremely online as the both of us are, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that one. Sure. Um, Surfside Girls, The Mystery at the Old Rancho by Kim Dwinnell. Red Panda and Moon Bear. Johnny Boo. Johnny Boo? British Ice. Here's one I know we've both heard of. Most people will have heard of because the movie got made from it. Uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh uh, yeah, this is supposed to be pretty good. I've been meaning to read it. I did. I, a letter. I enjoyed Go the ahead. movie. I'll be honest. I I know it doesn't hold up. I know it's pretty oh, no, terrible. It's, but it's awful, but it's fun. Awful. That's true. Yeah, it's definitely. Honestly, it feels like um. It feels like a movie that would have been made much later, you know. Yeah. It feels like uh, like when they announced that they were going to do a universal horror movie universe, I was like, ah, oh, the extraordinary gentleman too. That's exactly it. I honestly, I really wanted the dark universe to happen to see basically League of Extraordinary League of Extraordinary Gentlemen uh, done with a budget. Yeah, a letter to Joe, Nocturne, the Walled Silly City trilogy. Hmm. Uh, his Dream of the Skyland, the Walled City Trilogy. Lupus, Why Did We Trust Him? March Trilogy Slipcase Set. Uh huh. Uh, An Embarrassment of Witches. <laughs> I like the title. That's a good title. Camp Spirit, The Lab. The Lab. Uh, a Radical Shift of Gravity, Rascal. The Grot, the story of the Swamp City Grifters. Okay. And Cody, Glork Patrol, more Johnny Boo. I feel like I've seen Johnny Oh! I do know Johnny Boo and Glork Patrol. I, or at least I know the writer. James Kachalka used to do American Elf, the... I don't know that one. He also has a band called James Kachalka Superstar. Nope. Don't know. Oh my god, I have. Oh, I get to show you James Kachalka Superstar? Are you fucking serious? Totally. Oh god, they have a great song called Wash Your Ass. That is. Sure. Before you make love to your lady. It, it is. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. It sounds like comedy. <laughs> uh, well, it it is. Uh, he's also got a song called Spread Your Evil Wings and Fly. Chuglin to the nth degree. Um, God, he, he sh his... I bought his album. Like, it's just bizarre comedy. Uh, hmm. First of all, do you recognize Beelzebub's at all? I uh, don't, you, but it does look Discord. intriguing. Oh, man, it's good. Um... I sent you some James Kachalka Superstar. I'll share that to the uh, group as well, or the chat as well. Um, 
God, he did a song. He did a song that was a theme song for something. What was his what? Monkey vs. Robot. Uh, no. He did a song that was a theme for a show somewhere. Mm. Um, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I recognize his art style. Like he definitely wrote and drew that. Um, wrote and drew yeah. that. Yeah. Wrote wrote and drew that. Yeah. Versus just wrote it and had another artist draw it. Wrote, Andrew, that. See where see where I'm going with this? No, explain it to me. <laughs> well, you see, the the, the terms and. And Drew, when you what? put them together, sham and, like the, and... the masculine name, Andrew. Well, no, you said and Andrew. Did that I? doesn't sound like Andrew if you combine and Andrew. It's and Andrew. Hmm, yes, I see. I see you're at uh, Guy Fieri the Toad. Yep, there he is. Uh, you definitely want to use his bed because there's a boss fight shortly after him. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's another that. boss fight immediately after that. Uh, I'm gonna sell some mid mushrooms because I don't need nearly this many. Yeah. I need some pick me ups because the pick me ups are, uh, the good shit. I also have a ton of bracers. Nah, I'm not gonna fucking use any of those. Yeah, I'm uh, kind yeah. of impressed that top shelf is, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm genuinely shocked by like, oh, I know these comics writers, because I mean, let's be fair. You, if you've not heard of a publisher before, you you often get surprised by who they got on the team. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, his bed is just a bunch of crates. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I mean, they got it still a, heals you. They got like the still F Zero, the F Zero, and the uh, Star Fox over here. That's cool. Yeah, that's fun. I don't know what those are, so I don't recognize them. It's the one on the left is Star Fox's ship, and the ones on the right are from F Zero. They're just the cars. I couldn't name them. I I had a revelation the other day when we were playing, or well, when I was playing Pod Racer, which is that I kind of just absolutely fucking love racing games. I never thought of myself as specifically a racing game like player. But anytime I play them, I have like the most fun I have of any games. It's weird. <sighs> I'd like to take a moment to thank you all for coming on here today. We're gonna be uh, finishing up in just a bit, but I appreciate your viewership. And I, I, would like to uh, remind you that if you want to follow, you can for free. It I would free, definitely not give up really just help. yet the stream. I would definitely go a little farther. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go until I get the uh, until I get the the star at least. Well, that's not when you think it is. So <laughs> yeah, and there's every chance you're gonna fail uh, once or twice before you do. Well, we'll find um, out. I telling you. The, uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, yeah, the donut blocks absolutely fall. And yeah. if you hit the lava, you go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, I got it. Um, got Montreal. Man, that sucks. Um, dynamite. Dynamite? Uh, publishing. I'm looking at different, mm. uh, publishers now. Because sure. my first choice uh, said no. Uh, I think first second might be in uh, in Portland. They do they do the uh, McElroy's Adventure Zone graphic novel, which are um. solid. They have three of those. If you don't want to listen to the podcast, the uh, the graphic novels are a great way to consume that story. Hmm. There's a handful in Seattle, apparently. Fuck. They got me with a weird angle. Huh. God damn it. 
Or no, that's just higher up. That's not a weird angle. Fuck. <laughs> Were you jumping as if, like, look at shadows. Those will help you. Yeah, but it's like if they line, if it's in line. Oh, you gotta leave to get that to come back. Fuck. If they're... If they're in a line, but one is slightly higher in this perspective, it just looks like that higher one is to the left of the line. Yes, but look at the shadows beneath them to see the straight line. Oh, I get that and now. I, I certainly I certainly understand now. All right, I mean, do you? Yeah. No, I just keep missing it because it's f fucking hard to... Uh, make sure that you're pointing in the correct direction when you're walking around. <sighs> uh... Fuck. Oh no, the whole thing is in line. It's just that the one is up. God fucking damn it. Yeah, it's higher up than the rest. That sucks. Why the fuck would they do that? It's so confusing to look at. No, it's not. It just looks it's like it's to the left line. of the line. Only if you don't understand straight lines and Yeah, because like, I'm not going to look at the shadows when I can look at the actual physical object. Why would I fucking go to the secondary indication of them if I, I could just like see it through the original? I feel like this game is not for you. Like, I mean, I, maybe I'm I weird, like it. It's I'm... just the platforming fucking sucks. Maybe I'm weird, but I fucking understood it from day one, and didn't have this much trouble understanding straight lines. Like I'll look in the sh I'll look at the shadows if it's like a 3D platformer, but when this is a 2D fucking thing, I'm not gonna bother looking at the fucking shadows for something that looks so clearly. Like it's just f fucking not lined up. I don't- I don't even have the urge to look at them a second way, because my brain is immediately like, yes, that is correct. Okay, well, is this obviously boss? it's not. It's a boss. And I do recommend after you fight him, if you win, going right back to an OPO and sleeping again. Sure. Otherwise, you're gonna be pissed. Let's do this. Holy shit, he hits hard. Yeah, he does. And he's not the hardest of the bosses you're about to face. It's gonna get real hard here in a minute. It's gonna get harder than a room full of men looking at a really sexy thing. Yes, I see. I see indeed. Hmm. Dark Horse isn't... How far is Milwaukee from? From Seattle? Yeah. It's like in the middle of the country. Milwaukee, Oregon. Milwaukee... Fuck, right, you said there was a Milwaukee, Oregon. Oh, it's right on the north side of Oregon. Huh. I mean, keep in mind... I need to look at... The states are a lot Seattle. wider over there, so that could be like a nine-hour commute. No, no, like it's on the north side. It's not a. Yeah, even if it's on the north side, I'm serious. It's like uh, the other side what? of the state is like six hours away, driving uh, straight across. Uh, shit. That... That's what I'm saying. Like the states uh, over there are real fucking wide. It looks like it's straight south of Seattle. Really. Yeah. I don't know why I haven't heard of them, then I've lived in the Portland area, so... Well, it's straight south of Seattle, not... I don't know where it is in relation to... Portland. Hmm. Like... Clackamas County. Clackamas? Yeah. I'll send well, you a map. Well, that's the thing, too, is that, like, the the Bolt Bus and the trains there. and stuff are go going to Portland. There it is on a map. Let me see this business. As compared to Seattle on a map. It is 
straight south. There's like four towns between them. You mean counties? Whatever. Huh. So that's like east of Oregon? Why have I never heard of this place? Weird. I don't know, probably because it's in the middle of Bum Shark Nebrahoma. That's the thing though, is if you don't have a car, it's uh it's gonna be a pretty tricky commute. Man, probably. But you know. If we could find somewhere midway, that'd be fine. God damn, this guy huh. is a fucking beast. They got some cool names on this company's website. Like? Todd McFarlane. Oh, sick. Oh yeah, Daddy it's Image own... Comics, so of course it fucking will, but... Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot we were talking about Image. Well, I didn't say we were talking about Image, I was just looking at their stuff, like... I thought Todd McFarlane had his own company now. Or is that just for the toys? I think it's just for toys. I mean, don't quote me on fucking anything. I'm a, I don't know shit. Um. Oh my god, Bones. He's Bones. Oh man. Oh shit. Bowser's game? down. Uh, Some bitch. So, under Image Comics Umbrella is Todd McFarlane Productions. Mm. Christ on his fucking chair, this is hard. Doesn't McFarlane have the DC toy license right now? Fuck if I know. Shit, how the fuck would I know? Todd oh, yeah. McFarlane. That's the thing, is one is into comics, but he's also uh, really into toys. So DC toys. You'd probably know better than we would. Yeah, I don't follow toys at all. So... That's something you would want to like not consult me on because I don't know shit. Uh, he's got something listed on his website as the DC Multiverse. Hmm. Uh, it's got some pre-orders of a Batman Green Lantern. Uh, I want to be honest. I fucking hate Green Lantern Batman. I hate like when they fucking shoehorn Batman into stuff like. Yeah. Oh, what if Superman was found by the Waynes and raised as their son and Here's a instead question. of the Kents? Justice League Dark, how far back does that go? Uh, uh, what are we talking, comics? Or are we talking the show? Just the, the concept, like, of, like, has Batman been a part of it since the beginning, or is that like a new addition? Um... I hmm. uh, gotta head back like you recommended. First appearing in Justice League Dark number one, September 2011. Wow, it's only 2011. Shit. Um, according to Wikipedia, members uh, in issue one, unless otherwise noted, were Madame Xanadu, John Constantine, Zatanna. Dead Man, Shade the Changing Man, Andrew Bennett, Black Orchid, Dr. Mist, Frankenstein, Princess Amaya, Timothy Hunter, Swamp Thing, Nightmare Nurse, The Phantom Stranger, Pandora, and Zoriel. Let me fucking talk to the guy. Um, so, Batman was not a member. Uh, okay. different lineup was announced for DC Rebirth, featuring Wonder Woman, Zatanna, Detective Chimp, Man Bat, uh, Swamp Thing, Doctor Fate, John Constantine, and Animal Man. And, here's the thing, if you want to say it's John Constantine and argue that that's the proper pronunciation... Fuck off. Uh, not just that, but Ra's al Ghul. 
Ha. Fucking, I don't give a shit. Right, oh, yeah, right. what's that one? Shit. It's like Rachel Hul or some nonsense? It's Rachel Ghoul, but, like, if you look at the words it's actually based on, it's Ra's al Ghul. Oh. Like, so that's just like, the, 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 the creators trying to make not, him persnickety. I mean, it, it's Ross. Like, eat, eat the bag of rat assholes. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Um, Who the fuck is this guy? Axum. Oh, these are the Axums you were talking about. And they are, are harder than that dragon was. So, unlike the TMNT, this time we got a Super Sentai situation. I mean, it is Japanese. Yeah. Ah, oh, hell. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick biology break. You want me to mute you? Uh, sure. Okay. BRB, folks. Ooh, just a minute. This is going to be one delicious sauce. Made sure to check on it real quick. Also, I don't know, Andrew, are you there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, <coughs> apparently, Coco was just telling me, uh, Origami King got leaked. So if anybody has a way to do that, like, that's a thing that's happening right now. But as yeah, it stands... I'm not interested in that. I don't mind waiting. Yeah, it's like Especially two days. since it comes out on my birthday, so. That's that's the thing, is it's it'd be so much of a pain. Uh, I guess just watch out for spoilers, if you can spoil a fucking Mario game, to be honest. Um. Holy shit, Toad yeah. dies. Like. <sighs> eh. Like, it wouldn't be too terrible for me if something got spoiled a little bit because I did watch like the first part of the game when they did the treehouse so oh, yeah I still haven't watched that probably should eh. um I can wait it's 
decent stuff. I think Twin Twitch also bans leaked games if that matters, according to one over two. Oh yeah, no, I um, I would not have a way to to do to do it. I don't have any kind of. I don't think if someone has created a Switch emulator, I would have no idea how to work it, and I doubt my computer could handle it since it can only really barely handle N sixty four. Goodness, excuse me. Hmm. Fight me, Axums. Like they're they're a difficult fight. They're not the worst. I mean, I loaded up they're... like you told me to, so hopefully it doesn't take me too many tries. Did you go back, save, and heal, yep, and all yep. that? Okay, okay. I took your advice. Uh, it is diff. It's not an easy fight but it is like it could be harder um that's all i can say sure i mean you as you said the earlier fight was the hardest the uh uh y yardovich uh i this one's harder than yardovich because you got six people you got to beat with reasonably high hps okay i was wondering if i'd have to attack that head back there yeah yeah, and they can do, like, some pretty good damage. As you can see, the fucking first one got to do two attacks. The pink one can heal everybody. Yeah, I'm taking out the pink one right fucking now, as soon as I can. I think they all can heal each other, actually, now that I think about it. Well, we'll find out. I My but... general strategy in these games is attack only one. Which is to say, yeah. just focus on one until they're dead, and then keep moving. And usually when you want to got... go for the big bad, because like with Johnny, I, I beat Johnny himself, and then all of his followers fucking just left. So what I do is, because Mallow has like a couple of attacks that can attack multiple people, mm. um, I have him do that, and oh. then I have Mario and Bowser do a single person. Right, I forgot Mallow had that that new one. I've only done like single, single attacker fights. Um, you're about to. <laughs> your Bowser's about to die too. I know, I know, I know. Um, it's fine. I got a shitload. Um, Bowser of has a multi-person attack too. I yep, I used it. Um, but it just depends on. Like Mario, definitely best for single attacks. Um, and there goes Bowser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I'm keeping, um, a, I keep an eye on the situation. I got a yeah. bunch of pick-me-ups. Some yeah. bitch. Some bitch. Yeah. 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 Christ, they're mowing my guys the fuck down. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> this shit's ridiculous. Oh, who warned you, buddy? Who Listen, warned you? I'd, I expected it to be somewhat ridiculous, but goddamn, this uh -huh. is out of control. Uh huh. Need to get better at the dodge. Ah oh, shit. Fuck. Timing is all kinds of weird. <laughs> uh, Mallow. Star Rain, bitch. Do the thing. Oh, it doesn't hit the pink one when I do those. Well, she's out. You injured her. Oh, is that it? That's all it takes? Yeah, when she said, Yo, Red, my makeup's running. Gotcha. Like, when they call out like that, that means they're out. Mmm, okay. Uh, I think I'll take out Green next, because he's doing the static E, and that's pissing me off. I would save your FP for Mallow and Bowser. Especially since Mario can just like punch so much fucking. Well, I was checking. Again, it's. Here's the thing. Like, I get it, but also, like, by the time you're saying this, it's well past when I could change my mind on that. I know, but I'm saying for future reference. Sure, sure. <laughs> now also, out again. I don't like how they all got that sex doll mouth. I don't need that. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be more like a. 
like a, a what you call it, a fucking breather. No, 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 like a like a squid mouth, not a squid, an octopus, octopus mouth. That's a pretty common thing in a lot of Japanese media. I love the little bit of polish where they're all blinking. Yeah, that's about all you need to make it feel like a a pretty solid idol animation. Yeah. Um. There we go, fucking blocked. Christ, they do like three little animations before they actually do the attack, so it's like impossible to block half of these. Yep. And like Let's none see. of the animations, like you feel like you get swung in and they toss a little bomb. Yup. God damn. As long as it's I can cruel. keep, as long as I can keep one guy alive each time, I got plenty of fucking pick me ups. Uh huh. It, it's cruel though, isn't it? It's so fucked. There's like nothing I you can you. fucking do. I told you. Imagine if you had, if I hadn't given you that warning and you just ran ahead. Yeah. You'd be, you'd have to fight the dragon all over again. Pick me up. Pick me up. Mario. Pick me up. Pick me up inside. Pick me. Call my name and pick me the fuck up. Shit, he is me out up. of FP and I don't have time, so I'm just gonna get green with a single attack. Oh, that's it. Green's out. There you go. Okay. I wish the poison guy actually gave him a status effect. Yeah. And then after you beat all them, they start using the giant head. Right. I think so it's the like giant a head phase. might start with. Huh? So it's like a two-phase situation. I, I don't remember. I think it might be a, a turn-based thing. Like, if you're not fast enough, they start using it. Oh, shit. Don't I mean, quote me on that. Don't right. quote me on that at all. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Alright. Bowser Crush, motherfucker. Get him. Uh, nope. Black's out. Broke his shades. Okay, I can block the yellow ones pretty consistently. And I lucked out there. <sighs> Nothing's more infuriating than when you search for a certain job on, um, like, Glassdoor or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it gives you, like, stuff that technically is what you asked for, but it's not what you asked for at all. Like what? So, like, uh, copywriters, right? Yeah. They'll start sending you, like, listings for technical copywriters. So, like, mm -hmm. writing... Stuff that you have to be, uh, in, like, way more knowledgeable about a specific kind of technology. Right. Um, that kind of shit irritates the shit out of me. Um. Or, uh, I put in comics editor. Right. And instead they've got uh, news editors about comics. Mm. I mean, that's or not content the editors. worst. Or features writers. So you're writing about comics for a magazine or a website. Yeah. And um, that's not the same thing. And that is not what I'm interested in. I mean, how big of an industry is there for staff comic writers? Um, depends. Holy yeah. shit, that was like a fucking one hit. Oh my fucking god. I told you. Fuck. Alright. Alright, no more fucking around. It's recharging. Nope, nope, not so the beam again. Here's, not the so beam again. Everybody, 
everybody this time of year starts buying watermelon and cantaloupes and whatnot. Certainly. I don't have a, a secret for cantaloupe, but for berries and melons, like watermelons. Yeah. Um, the secret to getting sweet, tasty uh, watermelon or fruit is the darker, the sweeter. Oh, certainly. I mean, that so, works for any fruit or vegetable, any natural thing. The darker the color, the more flavor and nutrients will be in it. Also, fun fact, um, oranges are artificially colored orange because their natural ripe color is green. The reason really? we eat them, yeah, the reason we eat them is orange is because they came from the Middle East and when they were shipped to Europe, by the time they'd get to Europe, they were past ripe and had turned orange. Mm. So, in places where they were eaten fresh, they were eaten while Fuck they were green. Off. I got 17 experience points for that? <laughs> Fuck off. For that fucking hard to fight, that's all I get. I should have leveled Wasn't up that just everybody. Cruel? Didn't that just suck balls? That was fucking awful. I, I did think it. Now you take, I just I barely think now you did take it. the bus from uh, Mallow's Kingdom over to uh, Bowser's Keep. Mm, okay. There's definitely a bus. And then you. I would stop here for the night. Yeah, I'm going to run back to Nimbus with. Land real quick. And then yeah, get I will... back to Nimbus Land and save. And then I would just. Stop there for the night and sure. save the last uh, huge fucking chunks of the game for because they're big. They're bigger than uh, that was. Oh boy! And they're hard. They're hard. Um, they're a lot harder than that was. Who oh boy? Cause now, because keep in mind, Smithy built all these monsters that you've been battling. Right. Um, that means he can make more. Oh no. Yeah. Also, my sister and I used to laugh at those fat ass uh, Sky Koopas. Yeah. But, because when you fight them in, uh, what's it? Uh, if you talk to that guy in the bed, he says something interesting, I think. Oh. But, um, I think he tells you where you can find something in Monster casino. Town. Maybe. Yeah, the casino. Yeah, sure. Great Guy Casino. Three jumps and a bright card will get you in. Three uh, jumps, a bright card. Oh, you want to... Oh, while we got, like, a few minutes, do you want to go back and get the uh, last couple songs? Fuck. Uh, I've already gone over, so... No, I mean, like, at Todovsky's. Do you want to go do those? Uh, yeah, How many sure. frog coins do you have? Uh, Check oh that. Oh shit, good question. Hold on. I'm gonna make sure I saved. Uh, 26. Mm, not much worth going out there for then. Okay. Um, How long do you think the, the last session is gonna have to be? Uh, you're probably gonna use up your three hours. Okay. It, it's, it's, <laughs> there's platforming, and if you struggled with those donut blocks, you're really going to struggle with the, um, Oof. That. Well, all right, we're going to leave that. Well, I'll here. leave it at that. Like, if you couldn't handle donut blocks, you are, re you know how in uh, Mario 3, they have those giant threaded rods with the washers on them that you had to jump on and they'd spin, mm. and you had to keep jumping or you'd fall? Sure. That. Oh boy. All right. Well, we'll see that next time in our finale for this Super Paper Mario Marathon. So yeah, we're gonna finish this up on Thursday. Uh, probably starting at about. I'll start at eight to be safe, and then at midnight, um, or just after, I'm gonna check if I can play Origami King, and if I can, we're gonna do some first impressions of that first hour or so. And later that same day, 
as in during the daytime, nighttime on Friday, I'm gonna start playing Origami King, gonna do a full run. Uh, we're gonna change up the schedule, but I'll talk more about that on that day. In the meantime, thank you all for watching, whether you're watching now, before, or in the future with the past broadcast tab, or with the YouTube archive, which you can find down below on the browser version, along with my personal YouTube, uh, my Twitter where I tweet out when I go live, and the schedule, which will tell you generally what I'm playing on each day. Uh, I'd also appreciate it if you check out my website, IDK Voice. Uh, idkvoice.com I just updated it let me know what you think I think it, it looks about as good as it needs to for my voiceover purposes uh, I'm working on a logo and I'm going to get a new demo soon so those will change but for the most part this is what I'm thinking is going to be the final design uh, and also follow if you haven't really helps and I'd greatly appreciate it all that being said Andrew any last words um hmm by Surge. They're By not Surge. sponsoring us. By they don't Surge. sponsor us. Oh, Burger King actually has Surge. Uh, you can get Surge Zero. That's right. You can sometimes get Surge like slushies too. Um. So yeah, it's fucking great. Um. Yeah, they also have the the Coke Remix machine that lets you do whatever like. Peach, mellow yellow, which is usually what I go for. Something. Um, I don't. I, I don't often go to um. Burger King, so I don't get. I will say if you if that's how you try the surge, one over two. It's not the best way. It is best from the can. Um. Because you don't feel like your heart's going to explode if you drink it from Burger King. And that's kind of 50% of the whole point. Yeah. That's, it that's, just tastes like crappy Mountain Dew from That's the whole Burger experience, King. you know? Wait, you want... You, if you really want to try Surge, get a Mountain Dew and snort way too much Coke right before you drink it. Yeah. All right. That, that, With that, that really unhealthy advice. Good night, everybody. Night. <laughs>